All right, people, so let's get started. Um, this is going to be one hell of a ride, so I hope you're ready. There's going to be a there's going to be a lot of soul. I can tell you that. I'm going to get very very salty. So just a bit of a heads up. There is going to be extremely salty. Look at all the teams I've I've done over over the course of this game. So this is our last team. We had Nido King, Jolteon, Articuno, Zapdos, Starmie, and Rhydon. So this is our last. Uh, sorry, sorry, our last sort of uh, run of this. I got something in my throat. It's really, really annoying me. I want to do this massive cough to get rid of it, but that would be absolutely disgusting. Okay, let's pick this. And let's go select again. So I don't think their moves have changed at all. I don't think. So we'll go select again. Yep. Okay. All right, let's do it, people. Let's have a go. So Juggler normally is your best shot at getting a free continue, unless you get trolled into oblivion by, like, really, really good moves. All right. So I believe these have got, like, metronome... Was it counter as well? I think I see metronome and counter on these sets, on, on virtually all of them. So... We've got a lot of special Pokemon there, so I, I feel like we should go like Zapdos, Nido King, and I think Rhydon would be good there too. So we'll go for Rhydon. Yeah. Hello everyone, you're just joining at the start. So this is probably the softest battle you'll get at the start, but you, you can still get unlucky. That 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 is a, a definite thing. Yeah, yes, this is a pickle free stream. You are you are correct. Uh, we shall go. Okay. All right. I know my layout's not updating. Maybe that's... All right. Anyway, let's get started. So we've got Magma and Zapdos. Let's do it. So this is going to... Well, this will outspeed me. Pretty much all of the Pokemon do outspeed you. So we're going to be going for... Oh, I outsped. I take it back. I thought I'd get outsped there. Okay. So, paralyzing, I think, is going to be really, really important in this. Like, very, very important. So, I'm going to be utilizing that as much as I possibly can uh, throughout these, uh, you know, battles and stuff like that. All right, we're going to be swapping that out and going into... Let's let's try... Uh, King. We'll go into Nero King. Okay. I was going to go into Ride On, but just in case there's, like, a... Sneaky ice move or something like that. Then again, Nino King wouldn't be too much better off either. Yeah, he used counter. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I guess, I guess it probably would have outspent me. So I like to beat the juggler with substitute and thunder wave. Uh, it works pretty well because just in case there's any like really scummy moves, you can get around it. It's still using counter as well. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go earthquake. I've got a sub up. It's all good. That's a crit. Magma is down. So we want to try and secure ourselves a free and easy continue here because we are absolutely going to need, like, after last time, I used up three or four continues in the, the final battle. But that's only the first trainer. We sort of have to figure out how each trainer operates and how we go about beating him and stuff like that. And we'll like, like, like the ultra ball, we figure out each trainer and what their weaknesses are and how to beat them. That, that sort of thing. All right. We've got an Alakazam here. Let's just go ahead and go for earthquake. Okay. That is using counter for sure. I've got a, still got a sub up, so I'm fine. The attack has missed. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, sub two is quite a good move, for sure. Counter only works against normal and fighting. Yeah, that, that too. That's something to add. Oh, look, some blue spaghetti. Wait, was that... Oh, it was rap. That was a lucky one to get. That was a really, really lucky one to get. Okay, now we got them swapping out. Hmm. Yes, this does play well on Switch. Hey, Shadow Scope, how you doing? Okay, Clefable. That's fine, because that's like a free earthquake on it. Oh, wait, I never got to attack. I guess that's the, uh, still the effects of uh, of Rap, right? Yeah, so... Rap... Wait, did that break my sub? 
Why is the king not behind a substitute anymore? I just want to have a look. Like, why is it not behind a substitute? Or well, maybe I still am. I am. Never mind. I, I, I didn't think I was. Well, the substitute broke from that. Um, let's just go ahead and go for... Uh, earthquake again. Just in case. There's always a uh, little fun, uh, like, mechanics with Gen 1 and those, those sort of things. I need probably two more Earthquakes to faint. This is very bulky. Oh, that's annoying. So that got, uh, that got Spore. That's a very, very annoying move uh, to get through Metronome. But it's fine. At least it didn't do much damage. We'll go into Zapdos now and just finish this off. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, try not to say too much, but most of the trainers have the same. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. Yeah, I figured they'd be pretty much the same, but a couple of different Pokemon and maybe better, I'd say like better DVs and those sort of things. Hmm. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and go for Thunderbolt and get the free continue here. This is normally a pretty cru like cruisy sort of battle. Oh, what? Okay, good. Like, that would have been my second Pokemon put to sleep. So I guess that automatically fails due to the sleep clause rule, right? Uh, let's go Thunderbolt again. I guess that has to fail that second sleep move. Like, you'll always fail. All right, that's, that's the first trainer down. That's good. I thought it say something on the screen like, you can't break sleep claws or something. <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, come on. Fable's down. That's our... Uh... Oh, wait. We just got to finish the Alakazam off. I forgot about that. So we know this has got counter. Well, I'm just going to go Sky Attack and... Actually, I'm just going to do two Thunderbolts. That way, at least it won't miss. And I'm, I'm, I might get a... Oh, wow. Metron Quick Attack. It's going to go first anyway. Yeah, there's a sleep clause in here. So you can only put one Pokemon to sleep at once. And same with the opponent and stuff like that. So if you swap your Pokemon out wide to sleep, the opponent can't you know, keep, I don't know, using Spore or Sleep Powder and stuff like that. Mm. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was lucky. So this, this, uh, oh, it did, didn't work. So the uh, AI got uh, some couple of interesting moves here, but uh, yeah, that's done. It's easy. This is a pickle free stream, Super Bowser. Yes, it is. You are, you are absolutely correct about that. You are definitely correct. A bulky Alakazam. Okay, that's our first battle done. Also, people, if you could hit the like button on the stream, that would be awesome. If you're enjoying the stream, enjoying the stadium, hit that like button because it is going to be a video as well after um, after the stream finishes. Okay, well, that one's a pretty easy battle. It's fine. The next ones onwards are going to be uh, harder. Okay. So I think I lost this Kangaskhan last time. I, I think it's it's very, very fast and hits you know pretty hard but with Body Slam from memory. So obviously Zapdos is going to be quite good here. Uh, Nidoking is going to be a pain, actually. Hmm. This series has been great. Thank you, ProGVI. I appreciate that. So I'm thinking of Starmie. Hmm. I'm just trying to think what I'm going to do. So, Psych Psychic's pretty good for most of this. Oh, I've got Thunder as well. All right, I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna go with Zapdos, Starmie, and Jolteon. I think. Articuno's not bad either, actually. I'm gonna go with Jolteon. Zapdos, Starmie, and Jolteon. I need some I need some fast Pokemon virtually. Um then again that Weezing's gonna be annoying too. And same with same with that Nido King. Hmm. Or I should or I could bring Ride on for Nido King. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna I'm gonna go race. I actually wanna bring Ride on to this battle. I'm gonna change that. So Zapdos, Starmie, and Ride on. All right, let's do this. Right on these nuts. <clears throat> Frozen pickle is goated. It's anything but goated. 
Sorry for missing anyone's comments, too. I've been intensely trying to concentrate on uh, getting the win here. All right, we're going to go ahead and go for Thunder Wave. I'm just going to paralyze everything I can because you know they're going to do the same. They're going to use all the scummy tactics as well. So you got you got to fight that scum with scum. All right, here comes the Toxic. All right. What I'm going to do... Uh, I'm just going to go T-Bolt here. This should be like a, a three hit KO, something like that. If I can, unless I get a crit though. Oh, that is sick. I might use Rhydon for this. All right, flame throw. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Into, I'm gonna probably go into ride on. I reckon or Starmie. Actually, I'm gonna go into Starmie. That did a little bit more than what I thought. I, should, I probably should have swapped into Starmie that turn. All right, we're gonna go into Starmie. Conserve the Zapdos. I'll do that for next time if we end up losing, but hopefully not. But yeah, uh, that's probably the best play for Flare on starts there. All right, flame thrower again, and then I will have to swap a Pokemon in. They might, they might swap that Polyraph in, actually. Maybe I should go for Thunder pretty that. I don't know. I'm not sure if they've got it, though, but I don't want to anticipate that yet. Yeah, okay, quick attack, fair enough. So I guess they're just trying to get a little bit of damage. Well, they did pretty good damage there to, uh, uh, on my Starmie. All right, this should take it out. No worries, should take it out. Wow, it's so bulky. <laughs> These Pokemon are so tanky. Holy shit. All right, we're going to go surf again. Probably Liver Swift. And they didn't get paralyzed once. Cool. Okay, Flareon is down. Yeah. So these Pokemon, uh, I think they're even bulkier than, or just, they, they just have better stats and EVs and stuff compared to, like, Ultra Ball. So there's going to be... They're, I think they're like they're like almost probably double you or stuff like that. Flareon doesn't really have that high a special. It's, 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 not, it's, it's, it's decent. I wouldn't say it's like sky high though, right? All right, next is Weezing. Uh, this would have been... Nidoking would have been good here. I don't know whether it's got Blizzard or not because I could go into Rhydon. I don't, I, I'm just not sure. Let's go into Rider. I, I, I don't really know what it's moves to. I mean, I've got an idea, but if it's the same as last time, it'll have Sludge or Toxic. It might have Sludge and Toxic. Maybe it doesn't have Sludge and Toxic. Maybe it's just got Sludge. I'm not sure, but it's got one. Oh. Okay. Lucky little shit. All right, we're going to go for a uh, dig here. Yeah, Thunder or Fire Blast or something. Like that. Okay, it clearly doesn't have anything to ride on with, which is good. So ride on was... Obviously, ride on was going to be very good for this team. That's why I quickly changed my mind and brought it at the last moment. Okay. All right. Now Weezing's going to swap. I wonder who they're going to bring in here. Oh, okay. I got some free damage on the Kangaskhan. That's pretty good. Uh, the only issue here is my, uh, my other two Pokemon are kind of weak already. What would you be actually doing? Blizzard? I'm going to go dig again. I've got no choice. I can't swap. Oh, God. It's got Ice Beam. I don't have Blizzard or Ice Beam. I live. That's good. All right, we're going to dig that hole. Kangaskhan is definitely the issue here because it's, you know, obviously it's very, very fast. Seismic Toss. Hello, Super Saiyan. How you doing? Okay, so now it's in range for Starmie to faint with Surf. Yes, it has Ice Beam for sure. Uh... So you're going to use... I could go into Starmie to take the Ice Beam, then go for Surf and try and conserve it, but I don't know if I want to do that because I might get critted or something weird like that. So I think I'm going to sack the Rhydon here. Ice Beam with like 45... So I wouldn't underestimate some of the lower stats too because like some low stats still hit really hard because they're they, you know they've got a lot of EVs and DVs compared to my Pokemon like that's that's just how like that, that's literally how this works it's like super weird 
Uh, well, we've got Starmie. I don't... Yeah, let's just go Starmie. Yeah, I'll want that. Imagine if I swapped Starmie in there. Would you know? I would have, uh, would have been wrecked. Okay, Starmie, it's your job to take out this Kangaskhan. Please do it. I don't think I've got anything else that can outspeed this. Yep, there we go. What now? And that's the end of Kangaskhan. Cool. I died to that last time, so that's a good way to get around and bring those speedy Pokemon. Saxo, no freeze. Oh, we got Weezing at full hell. Oh, this this could actually be an issue here because both my Pokemon are kind of on low health. All right, we we we. I don't know if we can get around Weezing. We'll see. Weezing special isn't that high though. Um, so hopefully we can get some good. Oh, I got a crit. That's gonna help out a lot. Yeah, that that crit helps so much. And Starmie's gonna faint, faint to the sludge. All right. Uh, now what I'm going to do is go into the Zapdos and finish off a T-Bolt. And that's our second battle one. I have to... Well, I'd say I'd probably leave one sludge here. Okay, we'll just go Thunderbolt. So now we sort of got an idea what to do against the second trainer. So Rhydon was very good against the, uh, you know, the second trainer. All right, that's Wheezy down. Cool. Boom. All right, that's... Uh, that's right, I think I lost to that one last time when I was just mucking around, so... Yeah, so that's the, that's the second trainer done, so we have a look at the third one now. Cool. But these are the easier ones. Well, I had a little bit of, you know, I had a bit of experience with them already, so I, I had an idea how to deal with them. Alright. Let's have a look at this team here. This team's always annoying as well, but from memory. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this I remember this team. So this team is annoying. So this is the confusion team. Um, this is the confusion team. So I don't know how much it changes up, but it is very, very annoying. So we're going to use Zapdos, uh, Thunder Wave. That worked very, very well. Virtually every one of those Pokemon bar Lapras. It's probably going to outspeed me. I'm uh, going to use Starmie for sure. And I think I'm just going to go with Jolteon as well. Rhydon's not bad, you know. I don't mind Rhydon. I'm, like, the only bad thing is like Lapras. That's about it. But Rhydon's pretty good. Rhydon could be very good against Gengar, Haunter, Magma, and Ninetales. All of them. Nidoking could work as well. Yes, it could. It could definitely work. Hmm. I'm, I'm just thinking. Or Nido King sub. Yeah, actually, I did Nido King sub last time. And that worked pretty well. Like, most of the time, I was able to win. Unless I got, like, super unlucky. Yeah. Lapras is surf and not Hydro. I was going to say, uh, oh, no. Actually, no, that's not a bad start. So, I'd say... Uh, I'd say you're just going to go Ice Beam. Let's get some... I need to get damage straight away. I'm going to outspeed it. Gengar's got Psychic Megami, so it's always a little bit of a uh, an issue there. That's a two-hit KO. Nice. Oh, okay. We went Body Slam over. We went, we went Body Slam over that. Okay, that was a good start. No, that was, that was actually a really good start because now Lapras is going to faint. Good. That's real. That's that's nice. So Lapras is down. So that was uh, that was a uh, super bulky, uh, fat sort of uh, counter for a couple of my Pokemon. Not Zapdos though. Yeah, I, I guess they're going for the Paralyze and then that. Oh, Golb Golbat. Now Golbat is quite fast for sure. So I'm going to go for Thunder Wave instead, just in case I get very bad luck. Oh, they did talk. Hmm. That's a surprise. It did Toxic instead. I, I would have thought... Okay. I haven't versed Golbat very, very many times in this. Like, it only comes up very... I think it only come up maybe once or twice. Okay. Well, uh, let's go for Thunderbolt. I want to see if I can get a continue from this. Like, things are going pretty good so far. That's good damage. 
That's a paralyze. We still got Starmie in the back and Nido King as well. That's a swap. What? What? Uh, I, I'll take that free damage. I'll take the free damage on Nine Tails. That that's that's okay. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Hmm. I'm gonna go to Thunder Wave here. Yes, Flash would be very, very effective. Of course. All right, here's the first Confused Ray. I think I, I'm gonna. I just risk the Thunder Wave there, and I'll go into Starmie now. That's good. That that, that was perfect because now I can swap out, conserve the. I, I've still got enough health left, obviously, and now I can go into Starmie here and get and, and get the continue. That worked out really well. That was like a, this has been like a dream run so far. Especially for this battle. Yeah, because it'll probably go like fire, fire blast, or, or get paralyzed. It do doesn't really matter that much. Like, okay, we'll go for surf. Okay. One more on us down. There we go. There's the continue, people. That's very nice. So that's that's a that's a very very good continue to start this uh to start this off. Yeah, I, I got super lucky, like very very lucky for sure. So that's and, and to be fair, I'm going to absolutely need those continues because you know what happens, right? That can just that luck can just flip. Oh wait, there's another poke. Oh wait, it's a gold bat, isn't it? Yeah. I'm getting that hack of luck. Yeah, at the moment, I'm getting that hack of luck. All right, we're going to just finish this off now. Okay, Surf. Yeah, T-Wave is one of the most useful moves in this game. So I'm going to be abusing the heck out of it. Especially in those later battles, you know. Because I know the like, like some of the, like, a lot of the Pokemon are very fast or they're just very bulky. So you need a couple of hits against them or you need like a, um, you know, a, a crit or whatever like that. Okay, extra continue. Nice. I don't think I've ever had l so little trouble with the third trainer before. Like, normally that one's a real pain in the ass. All right, here we go. This one's going to, like, this rocker I've lost to quite a few times. So let's see. Oh, boy. Okay, here's the Zapdos. Okay, so we got Zapdos, Jolteon, Raichu. These are all very fast Pokemon except for, like, Tangler and Executor. I think Rhydon's going to be a good pick here. Hmm. We've both got Zapdos and Jolteon too. Yeah. So I think Rhydon's a great pick. Um, I have to worry. I have to just have to watch out for like those three grass Pokemon though. So Articuno wouldn't be bad for those. Or actually, yeah. I mean, we could paralyze. We could paralyze those um, those Pokemon as well. I reckon. Z I'm thinking. I'm thinking opposing. I'm, I'm thinking like Zapdos, Articuno, and Rhydon. Yeah. I mean, this team has got like. What if I got all grass, though? I, if it was still grass, I could still use Articuno. Because Zapdos still has Sky Attack, too. Uh, Zapdos, Nidoking, and Rhydon, yeah. Uh, Nidoking could be very good, because it, obviously there's electric moves. Um, mm. Or Zapdos, Nidoking, and Rhydon. Don't even bring Articuno. I mean, Articuno's only going to really be good for like those grass Pokemon. I've still got Earthquake on Nido King. I've still got Sky Attack on Zapdos. Hmm. This is a bit of an annoying one because I, 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 I really want to bring... It's just like, do I bring Nido King or Ride on? Nido King's faster. Yeah, actually, Nido King will make a good lead for sure. Because it, like, say for example, if they do have a grass, I lead with Nino King. You know they're going to swap either into Executor, Tangler, Victorville, or Zapdos, and that'll give me an idea then um, what to do. 
Yeah. All right, we're going to start with Nido King here. Um, we're going to have... Of course, we're going to have Zapdos as well. Zapdos and Articuno, or just Zapdos? I mean, we could go Nido King, Zapdos, and Rhydon. But do I leave myself too weak then to the grass? Mm, I like Nido King as a lead for sure. Articuno is just nice for those those grass Pokemon. That's all. Or, or I go Nido King, Zapdos, and Articuno. That could be a good play there too. It's like with all those electric types, I, I feel like it would just be super nice. Yeah. Jolteon. I mean, what what will Jolteon do though? Jolteon won't be able to do that much to those opponents. I mean, it'll be good for Zapdos. That's about it. Like, it'll be good for Zapdos. Um, mm, Nido King. You know what? I'm gonna go Nido King. Articuno. And Zapdos. All right, let's try this. Let's go. I haven't done this battle before, so I'm not really sure how it goes. Okay, that's, so that's not a bad start. So I either straight Earthquake or I go for a sub. I'm going to go for... Oh man, it's so nice to be able to just get rid of Raichu in one shot, but... Let's go sub. That'd be the smart play. Ah, yeah, I should have gone. I should have gone earthquake. Oh, well. a crit and a paralyze, and a paralyze after that. You're so lucky. See, this is what I was talking about. I knew that it was going to happen. Or right, I'm going to have to go for earthquake here to try and finish this. Seismitoss won't fake me. At least I've got a chance. Ah. So Raichu should have been dead that turn, but now it's not. Damn. Okay. So now, now I've lost my immunity to, I've lost my Pokemon that's immune to electric. So yeah, now we're in a bit of trouble. So that was extraordinarily lucky there by the opponent to, for me to, and then another crit after that. It's like crit, crit, paralyze, paralyze. Wow. Damn, because that was that was a pretty uh, that was a pretty sound strategy to, to lead off with that. Um, yeah, this is bad. So we'll have to go into Zapdos here. We could have. I, I think we just lost because of that. That was just that was just super bad. Uh, it's it's not off, it's not often you see a Raichu body slam do that much damage. Let's be real. So they're going to abuse Thunder Wave here as well, of course. Uh, it's Thunder Wave and Body Slam. I'm also going to abuse this Thunder Wave too. All right. What a pain in the ass that was. Uh, I mean, what do I do now? Like, Thunderbolt's going to do donkeys. I could go into Articuno. This is just going to keep going for Body Slam, though. Articuno does have sub, though. You know what? I'm going to play Risky because I've already pretty much lost this. So I'm going to do a swap, hope for a Paralyze, and then go for a sub. I, I could go Flash, but they could just swap. So I think that's kind of pointless, right? We sort of just... Oh, okay, they went for Thunderbolt. All right. Well, the opponent's got all the luck in this battle. Damn. That was... that. that virtually, that was just a restart after that, after that Raichu got all that luck. Okay. This is why you need some uh, continues. That ice beam did nothing. I was kind of worried about bringing Articuno, you know. Uh, it's like, Rhydon would have been good here. Maybe I should go um, Rhydon and Nido King. And then have the Zapdos deal with the flying, uh, sorry, the grass Pokemon. Yeah, it is, a, it is a, you're right, it is a Friday video. I'm shocked our little ice beam did, because uh, Raichu's special is high. That is, uh, that is why. God damn, that Raichu is BS. So I think, 
Rhydon would be a better lead than Nido King because of the paralysis, correct? So that's what I'm going to change up. I'm going to go with Rhydon as the lead. That'll draw out either Zapdos or the three grass Pokemon. Correct? So, yeah, that, that, that's that's going to be the probably the best one to go with. And there's also the thing here with Zapdos, it can still get hit by like, electric moves, like, you know, pretty hard too. Whereas my moves do nothing, so you really need electric counters, yeah. I want to. I just want to have. A, might be able to get a sneak peek of the next Pokemon. Just see what it's going to use. It would have been interesting. Oh, another crit! Wow. Okay. Well, that uh, that right, that Raichu is just uh, this is straight BS. That needs to. That 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 thing virtually needs to get. That thing virtually needs to get like just nuked in one shot just to get rid of it. Oh, that was a really good team. Yo, did you see that team? That was Raichu, Executor, and Tangela. Oh, that was like a that was like a real soft team. Oh, if I wasn't so unlucky, that would have been good because I brought the right Pokemon as well. Oh, damn! That that was that was quite a good that that would have been quite a good team once I got past that. Yeah. Damn. Because I didn't even have Zapdos. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go with Rhydon as the lead. I'm trying to get good. Don't worry. I'm trying to get good. So, Rhydon. Fuck it. Nido King. Rhydon, Nido King. And this last one's going to be important. I'd say Zapdos. Zapdos. Right on Nidoking Zapdos. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> I, uh, happy birthday, Sydney, as well. Glad you liked the uh, episodes. All right, here we go. Here's this, here's this you know, complete pain in the ass. So what I'm going to do is go for a dig. Uh, they really can't do a lot to me here. Maybe... Oh, Seismic Toss. Okay. I doubt they'll stay in for dig damage. No way they're staying. Unless unless their entire team is weak to ground uh, sorry, to ground moves. Yeah. This is 100% a swap. Here's a Tangler. This is basically what I knew would happen. At least I'm going to get some free damage. Oh, I got a crit. That's, oh, that's good. Like a little bit more damage. Uh, they, it was going pretty well. Keyword there was. All right, we're going to go into Zapdos now. I'm going to give that a Thunder Wave in the face, and then I'm going to go for Sky Attack. I need Ride On for that uh, for that Raichu, so I have to save that for Raichu. Yep, Mega Drain. Okay. So now... Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave and then Sky Attack. I'm just going to paralyze everything because that's what they're going to do to me. So, like, we at least need to, uh, you know, paralyze them to have, like, somewhat of a chance. There we go. Have a taste of your own medicine. Now we can go for a Sky Attack. And they'll, they'll stay in here too. Yeah, they'll stay in. Good. But once again, Tangler isn't really the problem, right? This was the Pokemon I had. I wasn't worried about this at all. The, the problem is that Raichu and whatever else there is. All right. Bye-bye, Tangler. So that was a good one. So now Raichu comes back in. We paralyze it. Or it's another one, like a Zapdos. I'll have to paralyze that too. Yeah, here we go. So it's Zapdos and Zapdos. I knew it. Hmm... Damn. All right, we're going to go for Thunder Wave. That's important. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with Rhydon. I mean, I, I guess I can go Strength. And what will they do? Sky Attack? Wait, Rhydon beats the last two Pokemon. Oh, you lucky little shit. I need that Thunder Wave. Maybe I should have swapped into Rhydon there. It's all right. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm just. I just want to paralyze. I'm. I'm happy to. I'm happy to sack this Zapdos off because it's not going to be very handy anymore. Yep, that's done its job now. All right. Now what I can do is go for Thunderbolt. 
just get some damage on this, and then I can use strength. Because what can Zapdos really do? Sky attack to my right on? That's about it. If it even has it. I don't even know what the opposing Zapdos has apart from Thunderbolt and uh, Thunderwave. Hmm. Go for continue. You can... I could go for a continue. Wait, I, I have a Pokemon. Ari. Yeah, you know, I could. You know what? I'm going to go into Rhydon. Bugger it. Let's see if we get a continue. Yeah. We'll conserve the Zapdos. Because we lost a continue against this trainer. So it's time to pick one up. I have no idea what this can do to me, though. Like, Zapdos. Like, obviously, after the T-Bolt. All right. Well, I've got strength. That's still pretty good. So let's go for that. Better have some bullshit move. What? What now? Uh, oh, drill pick. Okay. Now we have to remit. Yeah, we're good. We, we, we've beaten them. I was going to say, even before some like bullshit like ice beam zapped us, or so, I was about to say that, Will Jacks. Yeah. Okay. Ride on is like, was perf. So my sort of gut instincts to bring Ride on and Nido King was. Oh, you lucky shit. No, it's, it's not it's not GG yet. It ain't GG yet because that seismic if I don't take if I don't take Zapdos out this turn and then it drill pecks me, I might die to a seismic toss. And then I'll have to rely on Nidoking versus Raichu. I think I might swap into Oh shit, my battery is low. I might swap into Nido King and finish this off if I've got something. Oh, wait, I don't know if I've got any moves for the King to use. I, I, I just have to hope that I don't get critted. Yes, good. All right, awesome. So last Pokemon is the Raichu. Um, I'll go for Dig, and we should be able to take Raichu unless they've given it some incredible defensive EVs and stuff like that. Drill pick seems like one of those moves that would have had a crit chance. Yeah, I was surprised that it didn't have a crit chance. And you know another one? x -Sizzle. I thought that would be one like that too, you know? It just sounds like it would have a crit chance. Raichu knows... Oh, no. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have Surf and Molotov. Like, if it did, I'd, I would... Like, there'd be no way to beat it. It'll be so good. That'd be way too strong. Raichu's at 54. Yeah. But its defense is garbage, and Rhydon's attack is is good. Very, very good. Well, that, that, that's a critical hit, and that is a continue. So we picked up the continue there. We lost the continue, got the continue back, and got the dub. So that was excellent. So Rhydon was the MVP for this battle. GG's. Okay, that was, a, uh, that was, that was nice. We picked it up. So... I, I want to say I might have won that on the first go if I didn't get completely dominated by that Raichu because I had pretty soft poker on there. But then again, it could have gone either way. All right, that, that was awesome. So we're halfway now. We're halfway. Let's going to have a little bit of a sip here. Oh, man, I need a drink. I need to get more. Look. Let's see if this works. Edward Chang Violin Super Chatted $10.45. Thank you. Hi from Canada. Hello. My friends and I have been fans of yours for over a decade. Awesome. Thank you for all the entertainment over the years. No worries. Please, I'm sure you're happy to see Dragonite make a comeback in Gen 9 OU. Yes, I sure am. Uh, it's, it's very, very strong now. Firstly, thank you, Edward, for the Super Chat. Um, thank you for watching for so long. Uh, a decade is a very long time, uh, uh, you and your friends. So I, I, I appreciate that. Um, that's, that's ages. I really do appreciate that. Thank you for, uh, so much for the super chat. And uh, yeah, Dragonite is very, very powerful this generation, especially with extreme speed. I always knew the extreme speed would be a very good move on it. Like when it, when you, you know, when you first seen it, get it. The Dratini with Extreme Spin, like that's going to be a very, very handy move to have over the years. And, you know, with all the different mechanics and stuff, uh, especially Terra, it is uh, extremely strong. 
I got a brain freeze. Yeah, I was drinking my drink. I'm like, well, this one's really cold because I got it out of the um, I got it out of the uh, the fridge there. Hey, right, looks like everything now is working for the uh, super chats and stuff like that. But thank you, Edward. I really appreciate that. That's our, our high super chat for today's stream. And that's your very first super chat here too. It's got like little balloons and stuff. So thank you. All right, people. We've got halfway here. Uh, I wish I could say it was done, but we're only halfway. We've like so, just like looking at it so far. So far, we've had a pretty damn good run when you think about it. The first battle was good. The second battle was good. Uh, the third battle was very, very good. Normally, that's not easy. And the fourth battle, we're able to get our continue back, which was, you know, pretty lucky, you know? So, easy game is easy. Uh, it is not easy. It ain't easy at all. I know for a fact I had lots of trouble on that last one the psychic trainer so I don't even know what that team really is going to be like if we get there today that's what I'm saying like it's looking good so far but just bear in mind things can turn around at the the, the drop of a hat you know okay let's uh let's continue here I'm very excited to see if we get there's no way we're gonna get this on our first go that would be wild now the old, oh no, not the old man. It's a Dragonite. There you go, Edward. There's a Dragonite. You were just talking about it. Wow, what are the chances of that? So, oh, sh oh, oh my God, a Snorlax too? Oh no, this this is hard. This this is a this is a very very difficult team. I might have to use Horn Drill Nido King here. Shit, Snorlax is just busted. It's just it. It's just so bulky, you know? Dragon, Imagine Dragonite, Articuno, Snorlax. I don't think I can beat that, even with the Pokemon that I've got here. I don't. I think that's it's almost impossible. So Articuno, like, right on these nuts is going to be definite, right? We're bringing that along. That's going to be great. Now, Nidoking, I feel like we might need for Snorlax just for Horn Drill, but... Uh, like Jolteon's going to be good there for Articuno. Uh, this is this is. I'm going to have to think about this one for a sec. This is very very difficult. Um, I see. I told you something like this would happen. Uh, if Rhydon had a rock move for her, yeah, I, I think that would make. They probably did that on purpose. How do I say your name? Uh, Mushame. I did it. I, I got it right. Um, if they gave it rock, rock slide, I think that would be like they they would have deemed it too powerful and too easy for a rental. So I'd say that's why they uh, they they did that for. Right on Zapdos and Jolteon. Mm. Sorry, sorry, people. I, I'm I'm halfway into it now. I'm I'm really gonna have a, a stop and think about this. I'm not gonna rush into it because um, I really want to go over my mind here. Um, what would be the best team to bring? So, number one problem for me is Snorlax. Um, if you played Stadium, you know you know, right? Uh, Snorlax is just bulky. Very bulky. Um, really, the best ways to get rid of Snorlax is Horn Drill, an Explosion Pokemon. You just, just really hit. Or a crit. I have to bring Articuno for the opposing Dragonite, because that Dragonite is 55, and Snorlax is 55 too. They're wild. Like, <sighs> yeah. Uh, yeah, if I, I mean, e even, I don't know, even like, uh, this, that, that would eat like, even high jump kicks would be able to live. Uh, Pinsa, yeah, exactly, Yummy, you're right. Because so we know that Pinsa is fast and has slash. So that tells me that, oh, I, I think I have to bring Zapdos and go Thunder Wave first turn. I have to do that because all those Pokemon, is this going to be good? Um... They can bring... Oh, they can bring only one level 55. So what you're saying is they can't bring Dragonite and Snorlax, correct? On the same... That'd be way too broken for them to bring both of them. Well, Dragonite is, e Dragonite is easy to deal with in Snorlax. I'll take Dragonite because at least you can kill it with Ice Beam. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know that Snorlax is slow and stuff like that, but man, it is just so tanky. Hmm. Zapdos, right on a Nido King. I was thinking the same thing. I really was. But then, what happens if we get like 
you know, uh, if, if then again, if they bring along their Articuno themselves, you know, because they can easily bring, you know, Dragonite, Articuno. And uh, what are we going to do to Articuno, really? I'm going to get wrecked. Uh, Zapdos is my is going to be my start. That has, that has to be my start because I have to paralyze the first Pokemon. And Zapdos is pretty good for this whole team. Like, it's not going to get one-shotted unless it's Articuno. I don't know what I'm going to do for Articuno. Like, the, 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 best, the best counter for that Articuno is my Starmie. But that's... Starmie's really only going to be good for... Really, Starmie's not that useful except for Articuno and Arcanine. That's about it. Yeah. So, yeah, with, it has to be 150. So, it's going to be Dragonite or Snorlax. Is it actually possible for the... I, I'm, I, like, if anyone that's played this, is it possible for them to not bring a level 55 or will they always bring it? I'm just curious, like, how it works there. Would, would, they, would they ever bring three level 50s? Like, say they brought Articuno, Electro to Pinsa, you know? Like, or they always, uh, always lock themselves in to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the level cap is good. I, I forgot about that for a second. But yeah, um... I was just curious. I'm like, what if they could ever, like, the roller chair? Like, that'd be, like, the, the easy run. Yeah. It's possible, but not common. Oh. I'm not... I can't bank... I, I can't bank on that then, right? I don't want to use Articuno first. So, we're going to go Zapdos. Uh, Articuno. And the last Pokemon is the challenge for me. Because this is, like, the Sway Pokemon, right? It's either going to be Nidoking or Rhydon. Rhydon's got really good bulk. It can shut down Electrode. Uh, it can shut down quite a like pincer. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm gonna go right on because as soon as I see pincer, I paralyze it and or just go straight into like ride on. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about is um, if it's got guillotine, which it probably does have. All right, here we go, people. This is gonna be really hard. Electrode, that's a ride on swapping, isn't it? That has to be a ride on swapping. I'm not going to play these games versus this Electrode. That's not a bad... Like, Electrode isn't all that bad. Um, so we got Electrode, like Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, you know, shit like that. So we're going to go into ride on straight away. I don't really know what its moves are going to... It might go boom. Yeah, it might go boom. Boom, boom, boom. Hopefully it does. That'll be good. Like, Ryan will be able to take that like a boss. Oh, reflect. Uh, all right. I mean, Dig's still going to do good damage. Though. Don't get me wrong. He's still going to do good damage. So we'll go for Dig. And they might swap out then. Hyper, hyper Beam. We've, okay, so they didn't swap their Electrode out there, right? So that means they don't want to swap... Unless they swap, unless they swap like the next turn, because this is on recharge at the moment. So this is actually a really good lead at the moment. This is like this is good because this is quite a soft sort of Pokemon. On this is probably the worst Pokemon on their team. I, I, I would say, um, for like, for, for well, for what I've got, you know, um, I've got strength and dig. So you know what? I'm, I think I might just do strength. Let's do strength. Oh, they swapped! I went for a strength on the swap. Let's see. Oh, no! Oh, no. It's the stupid Snorlax. It's not Dragonite. It's Snorlax. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. It just sits there and it's got 69 million health. All right, now what moves does this have? Body slam. I don't. Need, I don't know what moves it's got. So I could paralyze it. That'd probably be the go-to here. Uh, this is Master Ball. Yeah. I, okay. I, I, let, let me tell you what's going through my mind right now. We need Ride On for Electro, correct? Because that's going to be very fast. So Ride On can easily beat Electro. We've got Electro beaten. Um, it might use Hyper Beam, but I don't, or Body Slam, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think they'd swap it in for that though. Let's let's go into Zapdos. 
or Articuno? Articuno seems expendable to me. What's the matter, trainer? I'm gonna go. I, 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 I think that Articuno wouldn't be bad because think about it, right? We only really need Articuno for Dragonite, which is not on this scene. So I swap it in, I, I, I test it out and just go for Freeze Axe. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think Articuno is the most expendable now that there's no Dragonite, you know? All right, here we go. I, I can't risk Zapdos, that's too risky. Yeah, I want a, I want a fresh swap in. Earthquake. Okay, good. Good stuff. So that's nice. So it's got Earthquake. Good. I, I have to assume it's got Body Slam or Hyper Beam. I don't know about you people, but I'm going to go for an... I, 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 I think I'm just going to go for a Freeze Axe. I mean, at this at this stage, I'm just going to spam Ice Beam. Spam that A button. Oh, what? I didn't, I didn't just get that the first go. We've got this now. Yo, we got this. Wow. That was so lucky. That was so lucky. Wow, man. I just got, uh, Snorlax just got delivered to me on a silver platter. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, this is amazing. Am I going to get, okay, I know what to do. I'm going to go for the dub. We're going to go for a sub to get the dub. The, am I going to get a continue from the old man? Like, th 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 like is, does that ever happen? Wow. I, I, I've been turning on the hacks today. Seriously, like, no joke, right? We know that Electrode's coming out after this, so I'll get the sub up so I can take, like, a Thunderbolt or some shit like that, and then I'll just Ice Beam it and... Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I'm working out during the winter time, yes. All right, uh, let's go for Ice Beam again. Yeah, you wouldn't read about it. You, you just, you wouldn't read about it. And Snorlax is almost down. Just for anyone new here, um, or that doesn't know about stadium rules or Gen 1, if you get frozen in Gen 1, you you, you, you don't throw out. You, you stay frozen the whole time. So it is the worst status to get. But it makes... Uh, it yeah, makes you know, getting paralyzed 20 times in a row look good. Oh, that is, that's the best outcome you can ever get against a Snorlax there. <laughs> Imagine if it had flair, but it just roasted itself out of the ice block. Okay, here we go. And here's the pincer. So we knew they'd probably have pincer, didn't we? All right, let's think this one through. Now, this is going to be still be difficult. So, Slash, does it... Oh, does it have guillotine? So, okay, this is what I'm... The only thing I'm worried about here with Pinsir, if I swap in right on, and then it goes for guillotine. I'm not going to swap. Yeah, I'm going to go for an ice beam. I don't want to go sky attack because I'll go second. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go into right on right. I'll go ice beam, swap into right on. I'm, um, I'm on a sub. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm talking about after... Okay, I'll use Ice Beam then. Then I won't have a sub. So let's assume now. We don't need to assume my sub's going to uh, die. So I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go for Ice Beam, swap into Ride On. I just don't know if they've got Guillotine, though. That's all. I got a crit? What the hell is my luck in this battle? Yo, what is my luck today? Wow. I'm getting insane luck. Wow. Okay, well, we're going to go into a ride on these nuts and get the free dub. Look at my team. I've taken no damage. Like, this is probably one of the best runs you'll ever see for Master Ball in this battle. I don't think you'll ever see a better run than this, unless they land Horn Drill three times in a row. I don't think you're ever going to see a better run for this like, like on this on this particular trainer. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. All right, into ride on now. <laughs> Absolutely wild. I'm turning that hacks on. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm turning the hacks on. <laughs> Just tap out old man. Yo, I'm ready to tap out after I get this. I, I, I should quit while I'm ahead now. The free sacks was 100% the turning point. Okay. Yeah, you're done. You're done, Electro. Reflect ain't going to save you. You, you. You're probably better off going explosion there to save yourself a bit of time. The team was looking real healthy. They're looking good. This is this is one of the hardest battles as well. Uh, like definitely along the way, this is definitely one of the hardest battles. That hyper beam nearly went down the hole. 
So when in doubt, just go for a crit or go for a uh, freeze. Yeah. And there goes the battle. And there goes the battle. So that was a, that was a really good one. So we picked up a continue. How many have we got now? Do I have three, do I? So, perfect on the old man. That never, ever happened. That, like, they re Wow, look, look, this is, this is so good. I don't want to say too much out, but this is looking real good. This is, this is looking amazing. I have no idea what's coming. I know the last one's that psychic trainer, because I remember from the Ultra Ball, and I know that's going to be really hard. Like, I'm going to need a lot from that, so... Let's say, let, let's start, say, for example, I get through the next two. I preserve my continues. That is going to be very, very interesting for sure. <sighs> so I'm having a little break for a second here. I'm going to need every single one of them for the, these next ones. Yeah. Be oh, yeah. I've lost to that beauty before. Yeah. Time to lose all my continues before psychic. <laughs> that could well and truly happen as well. It absolutely could. Like this game can definitely do that. That was just that, that was the best luck you can ever get in on that battle. Uh, for sure. And uh yeah. It is a it's a pickle free stream, Super Bowser. Um So next Okay, yeah. I'm gonna need another drink in a second. I've been chugging this. You should make a best moments compilation videos from stadium. That's actually not a bad uh, idea, RJ. Too. So I, I, I should do that. like the, the my like top ten moments in Pokemon Stadium. I could. I, I don't know about I don't know about everyone else, but I'm pretty sure I could pick ten moments out so far in this in this playthrough that were absolutely crazy. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna go for a continue, and let's have a look at this team. Beauty. Oh, that's a hard time. We've got a lot of electric types, though. Star you. Sorry, star you. Star me is going to be easy. Yeah, that dig Alakazam. That was a... I nearly had a heart attack. So, Zapdos, Jolteon, star me. Right? Or am I going too heavy on the electric types? I don't think I am. But if we lose star me, we're going to be up shit creek without a paddle against... Right on and Doug Trio, you know. Hmm. Maybe Jolteon I don't bring. I bring... Then again, right, I'm not bringing right on, obviously. Articuno is useless except for... I mean, the opposing right uh, on will be... Like, for Articuno would be good for that. Starmie 100%. Like, I don't know if I want to go with Starmie at the start. I think Zapdos makes a brilliant start. And then we go into... That ride on is... Yeah, that ride on is level 53 as well. So they can bring... Yeah, they, they, can, they can bring all... Okay. I'm thinking a Zapdos lead again. Zapdos makes a great start. So I'm going to go with that. We're going to bring Starmie. If we don't bring Starmie, we're going to get spanked. And we've got one more. Right on will definitely have a rock move. So, do we just solely bring Articuno for Right on as some backup, or do we? It was. It was that going to be a waste? You know what I'm doing? I think in Jolteon's good because they've got Gyarados. Let's have a look. Gyarados, Tentacruel, Vapor, and Aerodactyl. They're all very weak to Electric. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I'm just think. I'm just thinking because Zapdos with uh, Thunder Wave is still going to be handy. It's still going to be very, very handy. I can't decide between Jolteon and Articuno at the moment. I've got Zapdos and Starmie. Because Jolteon's going to get dropped by Doug Trio and Rhydon. Then I'd have to swap back into Zapdos. And then, yeah, Rhydon really, really counters my team if I bring Jolteon along. Yeah. Doesn't yeah, doesn't that opposing ride on also have surf? Yeah, because remember last time I used my ride on versus their ride on? Yeah. I think I I, I think that I I, I 
They're probably always going to bring right on, I believe. I can't decide. This is this is really this is a tough one. So I know they're definitely going to bring that. I'm going to go Articuno. This could be a mistake. Look, I'm saying this this could definitely be a mistake for sure. You know what? I'm not going to bring Articuno. I'm, I'm going to do that again. I, uh, Zapdos, Staryu, and Jolteon. I got a gut feeling I need that Jolteon. Good lead. Okay, so we got... Not a bad lead here. Now, they could easily go into a ground type. This is going to be fast too, so I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave here. Oh, shit. Crap. Alright. So this is a this is a this is a very rough start. So that blizzard did a lot of damage. I'm gonna go for T-Bolt now and hope for a blizzard miss. No, I went for service and I thought they were going to get paralyzed. Ah. All right, that's the end of Zapdos, unfortunately. Uh, okay, into Jolteon. So if I didn't bring Jolteon now, I would have been in a fair bit of trouble, right? So into Jolteon. I don't want to bring Starmie out now because it's too risky using Thunder. Oh, it's Jolteon. It has to make up for lost ground. I can't do anything to that ride on. Yeah, here comes the right. I knew they have right. Obviously, they're going to have right on, so. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Oh, shit. I think I might have to sack this Jolteon. Blizzard is 90%? Damn. I thought it was 70. All that, like. I could go into Starmie here, but I'm going to take unnecessary Earthquake damage, and I absolutely need that. I think, yeah, I'm going to have to go for Pin Missile. Yeah, so Articuno would have been better here. Toxic's going to do Donkeys. Um, I think I'm just going to go Pin Missile. That's it. Pin Missile's really my only play here. Toxic's going to do nothing. All right. Pin Missile crit. Five hits. Let's go. All right, I got out sped. It doesn't matter. Damn. Right, I think I'm going to bring Articuna next time. I brought Jolteon because of that um, Aerodactyl. Okay. All right, Starmie's our last Pokemon. It actually depends because if... Wait a second. Hear me out here. This is just a prediction, right? I live the Earthquake. I take Doug Trout with Surf. Tentacruel's on a line of health. I finish out of Thunder. Out comes Rider. I beat it with Surf. That could still happen, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I'm not outspeeding Doug Trio. Thing about Doug Trio, it's very fast, but uh, I what? How did I live? That's bullshit. Doug Trio is not that bulky. That's bullshit. What? Huh? How did that live? That's bullshit. It's never that bulky. That's fucking bullshit. I'm calling BS on that. X. Doug Trio's got really high special, guys. <laughs> oh my god, there was a Vaporeon on there. I would have won that! I would have won that! Oh Star I I could Starmy would have won that for like what was Vaporeon doing to Starmy? Water gun? Ugh. I reckon I would have won that if Doug Trey fainted there. Alright. 
Let's go again. I, I had a very good. That was a. That was some good picks. So we're gonna go uh, Zapdos, Staryu, and Articuno. I learnt my lesson. You watch them bring like the counter now for Articuno. Oh, for fuck's sake. what can this actually do to me though? I, I could go for Sky Attack. What would this be doing? It can't use Earthquake. Slash? Hyper Beam? Slash Hyper Beam. Hope it doesn't have fucking Rock Slide. Oh my god. Yeah, I'd say it's going to use Rock Slide as well. Like, what? I, I, there's nothing to swap into. Like, this Doug True is annoying. The trainer hasn't issued an order. I'm going to go for Sky Attack. Here's the first move. Whoa, looks like a bad Pokemon choice. It's okay. The only issue is I might not be able to use that. It, 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 this is going to live, isn't it? Because it's it can live a surf, so you know it's going to live this. If, if it's going to live a super effective surf, there's no way uh, I'm going to be able to take it out with Sky Attack, you know? What the hell? It almost did as much. So this Doug Tree has got a lot of... um. It has a lot of, like, I guess, uh, more special in it, right? It, did, it does have Slash, I thought so. That would work well on Duck Trio. Okay, that's not a that's not a bad outcome. I mean, it's not good either. Um, I'll go to Starmie and, and just live the Earthquake and then uh, take it out. Yeah, it's got... It's, got uh, it's probably got, like, I don't know, six or seven DVs. And I don't know. At, le at least it has... It, I reckon it's got, like, a hundred... Or more in, uh, special to, to live that, you know? Yeah, Doug Trey seems a really good counter to my team. Ah, oh, that's enough damage. Alright, we got this pain in the ass out of the way, but it's, it's not looking good already because Doug Trey being at the start was a counter already because I, I lost Zapdos. I lost Zapdos way too early and I, I'm going to need that. Now I'm down to star you with like a shaky thunder or thunderbolt, whatever it is. Yeah, here we go again. So, yeah, so this is this is this is where I needed Zapdos for this. All right, uh, thunder time. I need a thunder paralyzer or a crit, and it's got Mega Drain. Wow, what a counter. Okay. Ah, I need a crit here. Or I need a paralyze or a crit or both. <laughs> oh my god. Well. Articuno can't do anything either. So, yeah, this is. Once again, now this is where Jolteon would have been good. This is where Jolteon would have been perfect because. Yeah, this is the thing. Uh, it's always that last Pokemon. So, Zapdos and Starmie are good, but Jolteon. Um, Jolteon would have been perfect here. Because Articuno can't do anything. Uh, what's their other Pokemon? What's the matter, uh, well, that's dead. Um, I'm just going to... I'll just finish it off. We've lost this one, obviously. But yeah, so I'm going to either have to go with this team again. Wow. And then... Use the same... I, I guess I'll just use the same team again. Yeah. I could swap, but I'm just prolonging what's already going to happen. We're prolonging it. You use Starmie as your lead now than Zapdos. I, th I think the Zapdos is more important than Starmie, so yeah, I think I'm going to swap the leads up. Let's go for a free tax. Yeah. I think I have to lead with Starmie or Jolteon. That's what I'm thinking. Because, like, Starmie hits all of the Pokemon. 
and that'd be a really good start, you know? Like, it, it gets around that Doug Trio, unless the Doug Trio magically lives on eight health again, but yeah, so I think I'm going to start with Starmie and keep Zapdos in the back. Joltel could bait Earthquakes, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not bad. They're not, they don't work bad together at all. Okay. I still, I still want to say I would have won this on my first battle if I didn't get... Uh, if that uh, Doug Trio... I got rid of that Doug Trio. A ga a Gyarados! Oh, Joltel would have been perfect for that. Oh, okay. We got two left. Okay, we're going to go Starmie... Star I think Starmie, Zapdos, and Jolteon is still good because they haven't brought right on the last two battles. So, Starmie, Zapdos. <sighs> but if they bring right on and I lose Starmie, I'm, I'm done. God. Uh, I mean, Articuna can still hit Gyarados for good damage too. With Ice Beam. Alright, I'm going to go Articuna. Uh, something tells me I need Articuna. Well, I don't know. Then again... Uh, I, don't, I can't outspeed them though. That's the thing. This, the speed is annoying. So I'm, I'm just going to go... Stay zapped off. Star use that does Articuno should work on this team. I, uh, unless I get the complete counter picks, it should work. Yeah. All right, give me Doug Trio. Okay, not the greatest lead in the world, but at least I can do something to it, right? So let's go for Thunder. Oh, scumbag. Double team. Oh! Good. That's good. That's a very, very good start. Now, what would you be doing, Tentacruel? I've got Swift as well, by the way. I'm just going to keep going Thunder. They've only got one double edge. Uh, sorry, double, double edge. Double team. It's got Mega Drain. Oh, you got a crit, you lucky little shit. Oh, you're so lucky. All right, we can go into Zapdos. I should have dropped into Zapdos there. I didn't think Mega Drain would do that much. I was like, oh, I might do a little bit, but... Oh, it's fine. Uh, we'll go into Zapdos. At least they are paralyzed. Damn, that Mega Drain... Would, that Mega Drain crit was, like, as lucky as my um, paralyzed. Okay, here we go. No, the Hisus aren't out. You have to wait for Pokemon home. Get paralyzed. <sighs> Miss. Oh my god. This Tentacle. <sighs> this Tentacle's got great coverage as well. All right, well, Tentacruel's down, but damn, it did some damage. It did so much damage. I'm probably going to get outsped here. Yeah, here's the Aerodactyl. So, it has to make up for lost I guess, I guess I just, I'd lose here. Two. We'll go for Thunder Wave and hope for a miss. <laughs> uh, I mean, Starmie's going to get dropped. I think I have to go for Jolteon, but Jolteon's going to get outsped as well. That's it, yeah, because my Pokemon are on such low health because of that Tentacruel. Uh, it's GG, yeah. God. Will the type difference affect that? Well, I tried, but I, I thought I had a good... So that was the Aerodactyl... Oh, it went, it went double edge. I should be able to live this. I thought it would have Earthquake. That's very strange it didn't have Earthquake. Oh, come on! What are these Pokemon just... 
They just live on like one health every single fucking time. Like that Doug Trio and the Aerodactyl. Ah. Oh. Perhaps I should have swapped there. I probably should have swapped in the Star Youth for the recoil. That was dumb. Then again, the recoil wouldn't have fainted it, I don't think. Yeah, because I think if you get a faint, there's no recoil damage. Like, because I got no recoil damage then. I tried leading with Zapdos already. There's no right way to lead either or whatever, because it depends on what Pokemon they bring. Like, you can be a, there can be a correct lead for the right three Pokemon that randomly get selected, or there can be, like, a wrong one. Yeah. The Aerodactyl was lucky, too. Like, that Dugtrue and Aerodactyl have been super lucky. Vaporeon was the last Pokemon as well. All right, here's our last continue, I think. <sighs> All right. I really have to go with... Every other lead I get counters with... If if Dugtree is the lead, Zapdos gets countered. Kind of. Uh, yeah, well, it does. And... I could have swapped. If I swapped, it wouldn't have mattered, right? Because recall damage doesn't work on a fainted Pokemon. So I, th I thought that too, but it doesn't work that way. Uh, hey, hello, Domri. Thank you for the 499 Super Chat. <laughs> it all depends on the rock or ground Pokemon. Hmm. There's nothing wrong with my strategy, by the way. It's just like they keep, like every battle they've brought like that that one Pokemon, which has counted it. So I'm like, it's like almost guessing now what the the random like it was it's going to randomly do. That Tentacruel is a nasty ass lead too. It really is. All right, I'm gonna go Star You. Zapdos. Articuno. All right, here we go. Field is thinning out. We're in for round six. It's the Tentacruel lead again. Well, we already know what this does. It's got Mega Drain. So after this, I'll go Mega Drain. So I'll swap now. No Paralyze this time. Into Zapdos. Then I'll go Blizzard. Then I'll go Thunderbolt. If we can get a if we can get a Blizzard miss, that would be that would be very very good. But I doubt it's going to happen. Yeah, Tentacruel's okay. got good special. Uh, I am, I'm Australian. Maybe I should go Thunder Wave on it. I'm gonna go Thunder Wave. I've got a feeling this is not gonna faint it. I just got that feeling it's not gonna faint. Well, that's the end of the run. That's the end of the run. <laughs> I had a flawless run up to this battle. Every single per like every single battle that I did, right? They had the one counter that I bring, like to my three Pokemon. I'd swap them around, then they'd bring the next counter, then the next one. I was like, I can't believe this. The commands are issued. I don't got this is done. It is done. Unless I get a crit here. Even then, I don't think it faints it. 
Oh, here we go. There's another miss. Uh, looks like we're back to the start, people. Damn it. After such a uh, such a great run. That Tentacruel is the best Pokemon on their team. Easy. It's got the... It's it's speedy. It's got the best coverage. What the fuck? There's a big difference in HP. <clears throat> I should have listened to you. You were, you were telling me Hisuian Pokemon are out. All right, we got a, um, we got a, that's the end of our battle. That's it. That's the end of our battle. Unfortunately, uh, that was just bad luck. Nothing else. Uh, as usual, that's how you pretty much lose these battles at this stage. Uh, oh, I got one more Pokemon. Articuno is going to free sax every Pokemon from here out. There's only one All right. Um, the has what would this do? I'm just going to go Ice Beam. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're tough battles, plus what the now? fact that the uh, opponent got the exact R R RNG. That, even that Surf, that did half my health there. I was gonna go sub, but they're gonna go they're gonna go surf, so there's no point. Maybe if they were gonna go blizzard then it might have been an, an option. So the first one was a min and the second one was a um uh okay. Oh sorry, max then min. <sighs> Jeez. I was pretty confident I was going to get that on my first go. Like, it's not often you get up to this trainer with three or... How many continues did I have? Three con I think I had three continues, yeah. And I had a good team for it as well. It's just like every single battle, they'd bring the one counter when I swapped it around. Yeah. All right, so they had an Aerodactyl there, so uh, Jolteon would have got wrecked, whoever was saying that. All right, well, that's it, people. Um, I, I, I think that was a bloody good first attempt. It, it, it was. Um, it was a very, very good first attempt. Um, I'm salty as hell because we had... I don't think I'm going to ever get up to that trainer again with such a good amount of continues either. Um, I just got... Yeah, that, that, that was just... I guess that, that was just unfair. But yeah, that's... that's how, it literally is unfair at this point, but that's how it was. Yeah. Let's... Um, Re -end. I don't want to re-enter my Pokemon. I think that's what it means again. I, I forget. We'll go from the start. All right. No, no, no I won't do that. Uh, registered. Okay. I need a grass type. Nah. Grass types aren't very good in this game. All right, let's start again, people. It's just, it is what it is. Did I enjoy the unfair? Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. Oh, I should have had that. That's bullshit. All right, so we know what goes on in this battle. It's the juggler dude. So Zapdos, Nido King, and um, I think I just bought Ride on. Okay. Does Electrode have Thunder Wave? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Unfortunately, Electro dies to every... I don't I don't want to really bring Pokemon that die in one hit. Um, okay. Let's just use Thunder Wave. Because that just dies to a ground move. It's very easily walled too. I think it gets self-destruct. Yeah, I, I think it's self-destruct, Thunderbolt... It might have Thunder. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I, 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 unfortunately, I forget what it, what it has. Uh, I'll just keep using Thunderbolt here. All right, we're going to go for another one. I, I may have lost, but I, ne I, I never lost my spirit. Did you get that one? My spirit? My spirit? Okay, we're going to... Just gonna get through this first couple of. We should we should try and get a couple of continues at the start again. That was good. Yeah, Legend Buzz is all right too. It's not too bad. 
In my opinion, it's outclassed, though, by Zapdos and um, Jolteon. It has that little bit of extra coverage, which is nice, but it doesn't quite hit as hard. Okay. Oh. Right, it's the Cofable. That Snorlax, though. That, that was crazy. Let me ever get that lucky again getting that. I just feel like I'm never, ever going to get that lucky on that Snorlax again, getting that free sack. Was like, that was like a, a one-time thing. Maybe it gets paralyzed three turns in a row, but Tentacruel did get paralyzed. I know, in that, and it, like, it didn't even... It's unbelievable. I like how it happens on the, where it actually, like the battle where it doesn't actually matter. You know, the Metro ones. I swear this AI is like sentient, you know? Withdraw. That looks like an umbrella. Clefable just, you know, hid inside an umbrella. Imagine if Tentacruel had kept 120 special hat instead of the 80 yet. Oh. Wow, that Tentacruel is nasty. You can't, and you, you can't one-shot that Tentacruel either. Like, there's no way of one-shotting it outside of a critical hit. Uh, like, with electric move or a, a ground. And you can't use a ground Pokemon because they get wrecked. And if you use a electric type Pokemon, well, they still get hit really hard too. So it, it, it is rather interesting. Uh, my my nerf gun ran out of uh, run out of ammo, you know, and I had to send in Pikachu instead. Uh, I'm gonna go for Sky Attack. Alakazam's no good. You only know, get Psychic. And Gengar's kind of bad too. They don't get good moves. I was like, don't worry. I'll be, I'll be, I'm using. I'm not holding back on the the Pokemon. Trust me. I'm using the best, the best team. I think is gonna have, has a chance to beat Zanny, and it should have probably won too. But yeah, I've gone over all the Pokemon. I thought about it yesterday too. I'm like, is there any other Pokemon that could be a, a benefit to this team? I think this is the best team for uh for this overall. Uh, let's go Thunderbolt. It's hilarious, Pies. You'll most likely land two more one-hit K moves before you freeze that Snorlax. I know that was that was like the best best freeze ever. I just have to hope they don't bring it next time. How does Nidoking King fare against Tentacle? It gets outsped and one-shotted, sadly. Like that Surf will dominate it, and Earthquake will not one-shot. How do you come in by hitting the join button? <laughs> hey, if Scythe had, if Scythe had some better moves, I'd use it. I could outspeed everything in crit. <laughs> okay, what did I do against this Kangas? I think I just paralyzed this Kangas Khan last time. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. I don't think I have a super sound strategy for this team. I just, uh, I think I brought Rhydon. Yeah, Rhydon's good for this. Oh, uh, who did I bring again? Zapdos. Zapdos makes such a good lead. I guess it's just good at paralyzing Pokemon. Why do I have Articuna on my team? Because it is handy to have for that Dragonite. You almost need it for that Dragonite. Later on, the old man's Dragonite. If you don't have Articuno, yeah, you're not winning. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, so Zapdos. Where are we here? Oh, Nido, yeah, Nido King. Yeah, Zapdos, Nido King, and Jolteon. Zapdos, Nido King. No, Ride On. Ride On. Zapdos, Nido King, Ride On. Yes. What kind of battle can we expect to see? I am using Ride On. You got to look at the screen, Jake Paul. And you don't have to talk in caps every single time. You can relax. All right, first Pokemon is Flareon. All right, I think this was their last 
they laid last time. <laughs> For Dragonite, why don't you use Rhydon? What is Rhydon going to do to Dragonite other than be a uh, one shot by Blizzard? Have you played have you played Stadium before? It sounds like you haven't played it before. Alright. Um we're gonna swap here and go into Rhydon. You're a god? Really? When you Maybe, maybe when you brought your transfer pack over with six Mewtwo's, like, <laughs> I'm not sure. All right, fully paralyzed. Um, all right, let's go for a dig. Quick attack. What now? The attack wasn't effective. What a furious Okay. What's the time? Eight o'clock. I'm still going to be going for another hour and a half too, by the way. So we got, we still got plenty of time. All right, this time they bought Poly, Poly, uh, Polyrath. Okay. So we know they're going to go for Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, one of those moves, uh, I'd say. Ooh. I cannot swap Nidoking in. Actually, I, I may even... This is actually quite a... This is a very good counter for my team, actually. Nidikin gets dropped. Raiden gets dropped. I think I, I, think I might lose here because Zapdos gets out spared. Unless I sack the Raiden off or, or sack the Nidikin off and then go into Zapdos from there and then paralyze. I think I might have to do that. Because Flareon's already beaten. Yeah, okay, I'm going to sacrifice Nidder King. Unfortunately, we're not going to get a nice a nice little run uh, like last time. We got a, a pretty a pretty soft run on the second trainer. The surf. Uh, do these people realize you're playing on the Switch? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I, think I think most people realize it. Yeah, maybe just a, a couple of new people that are, uh, uh, maybe coming may not realize, but I think it was just it was pretty clear. Okay, uh, that's the end of Nido King. I couldn't do much there. Had excellent coverage. Having played Stadium back in the day, I think it's... Oh, well, they released it without... <laughs> yeah. Um, it's definitely... It's, it's very, very hard, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. Let's go for Thunderbolt. Oh, wow, it's speed. I, I wasn't 100% sure about that because Poliwhirl's got some pretty nice speed. And we've seen Pokemon slower than... Sorry, Poliwhirl. We've seen po Pokemon slower than Poliwrath outspeed my other Pokemon. So I guess they didn't put as many speed EVs into that one. Cool. All right, well, that makes it a little bit easier. Uh, we already know that Flareon can't beat Rhydon, so I'm just going to swap that back in. That's going to be the best play here. All right, bye-bye Zapdos. Have a little bit of a rest. All right, Flamethrower. That did a lot of damage. Uh, this is a round two is one of the hardest Pokemon, well, probably one of the hardest Pokemon games you can ever play. Oh, crap, it's a Kangaskhan. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. At least I've got some good damage against it. So I think this has... Is it Blizzard or Earthquake? Toxic, okay. <clears throat> What's the difference between IVs and EVs? Uh, IVs are like the Pokemon's... Um, they're based uh, on a random number between... I mean, I'm trying to think like if I do it in... I don't want to confuse you too much. So, so IVs are like the base sort of stats, and EVs are the stats you give to the Pokemon uh, to, like, to you know, increase like a, a certain stat they have. So I'm trying to make this really, really simple. You know, uh, we have got ten gifted members there from Derek. Shout out to Derek for the gifted bomb. <laughs> 
10 whistles. Big shouts to Derek for the uh, gift of membership. Right, H, H, H gifted member gives me more luck. If you got a gifted membership from Derek, make sure you say thank you in the chat. All right, right on got two digs off there, which is really, really handy. Um, this Pokemon is very, very uh, fast too. What? What's left? Oh, I've got Zapdos, so I, I, I can, I can, uh, I can win this one at least. That's that's good. I'll go surf. You're not using safe stakes, nah. Um, I, 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 I want the challenge because, like, say if I got up, to, say if I did save states and. You know how I had three continues? Like, I, I could have just saved to them, but like, oh, I'll just replay it. But I, I like doing things on hard mode, you know? Um, I, I think I, for me, per I'm not like, I'm not saying for everyone, but for me personally, I feel like, I, I, I feel like um, it defeats the purpose of the challenge, right? Uh, for, for me. <clears throat> All right. Okay, uh, we're gonna finish it off with a Thunderbolt. Yeah, but you can, to, to answer your question, you can use, you can use uh, save states for sure. Well, you, that, that would definitely make it easy because you say if you get really far and then you save it, well, you can always just go from there again. And I, I, I don't blame people for doing that either. Like they just, just want to like pass it once. That's fair enough. All right, that's the end of uh, Kangas Khan. Okay, Flary on. There's just one Pokemon side now. So I might be better using. You know what? I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. Uh, Thunderbolt here. I might still lose this too, by the way. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I should have Sky Attack. Then again, I think Sky Attack. Then again, Sky Attack two turns, two turns Thunderbolt. I still would have done more. Yikes. All right, I'm going to need a Paralyze. I'm going to need a Paralyze this turn or a crit or as I lose. There was one Pokemon there that messed me up. That was... Uh, it wasn't Jolteon. It's not Jolteon. It wasn't Flareon. Oh, I was lucky. Cool. That was not... The game was nice to me there. So we continue, people. We continue. We didn't have to do the next. We didn't have to do these two. But oh no, it's got quick attack. I forgot about it. Oh, I forgot about quick attack. How can I forget about quick attack? I've seen it like ten times. Man, the game trolled me hard there. Uh, I like how they got the paralyzed and then went for the quick attack. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Uh, I've got to continue. Do I even waste this continue? I, I guess if I get it, if I say if I pick up a continue from this, then I, I guess that's fine. All right, we're gonna tr we're gonna try and get a uh, continue from this, so then we I haven't really wasted it. Oh, that's right, it was Polyrath. Polyrath, I, I do struggle with. Oh, Maybe Jolteon's a better lead. Because Jolteon would... Hmm. Yeah, Jolteon might be a better lead here. Uh, Executor's not that good, sadly. It's it's alright. It's not terrible, but it's more of a meme, really. It's like, it's, it's, it's only very good in, like, niche situations. I have tried it out a lot. And with the moves that it learns too, on the on the mainly it's the moves it gets. If it got a couple of different moves, it would be very 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 uh, handy. And also, grasses are very good in Gen One. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna go with my normal strategy here. So, I right, Zapdos, and then what do I do again? Ride on. Maybe, maybe I should do Starmie instead. Starmie instead of Nidoking. I can't remember who I even brought last time. Um, I'm just going to do Jolteon or Starmie. Do Starmie. Okay, we'll do Starmie. What kind of battle can we expect to see? 
Yeah, just for anyone new here that doesn't realize, the uh, the Pokemon, uh, the fully evolved Pokemon, a lot of them aren't that great. Uh, or a lot of the movesets aren't that good either. All right, let's go ahead and go for a Thunder Wave. This will be handy. And then I'll just Thunderbolt a Sky Attack. Yes, you made it. You made it. I'm still going to be going for another... That timer's moved. Another... Probably an hour and a half. You love Cacti? Yeah, Cacti is a pretty cool Pokemon. What did that do then? Seismic Toss? I believe it did Seismic Toss. Okay, let's go Thunderbolt. I actually haven't had uh, Maychamp Lee very often either. Oh, I did Body Slam, okay. Yeah, I'm happy just to leave Zapdos in then because I, I really don't want Starmie to get paralyzed. Yep, there we go. I knew it. I knew it. On the ball. Oh, I got paralyzed. Yep. Alright, that's the end of uh, Zapdos. That one paralyze. Oh. Hmm. It would have to have. It would have to have. Uh... Right, I'm gonna go to ride on here. I want to see. I, I doubt that it doesn't have seismic toss. Yeah. Do you think the Zapdos feathers are sharp? Maybe because like the ele I mean maybe the electrical current going through them might, could make them sharp. I don't know. More staticky? Yeah, if you touch it, but... Are they even feathers? Well, they don't really look like feathers, but... Uh, I, I, I'm not sure, like, when you look at Zapdos, it sort of looks like a wing, but there's no... You don't see any, like, little details for the, the feathers on there. I uh, will did five before, so uh, let, uh, let me, let me, I wish I, I wish it all, add, there's no, unfortunately there's no ways of adding them together on the screen, otherwise, uh, would, so we have three, we're halfway, we're halfway to a pickle, I'm just going to round it up there, uh, so I've got thunder on this, but I don't really want to risk it, now this, Polyrath was very strong against my team, so they're going to use Surf. Then I then I outsped and go Thunder. All right, let's do that. So into Starmie. I dig Poliwhirl. <laughs> I mean Polyrath. It's interesting how Polyrath gets slower in its evolution. Oh, I got critted by Surf. They got some extra damage on me there. Fair enough. It happens. All right, I'm going to go for Thunder. God, that Polyrath is bulky. It's too busy admiring and showing off its muscles. It's just flexing. Even, even, when they, even when it used Surf, it was, fle it was flexing while it was on the, when it was on the wave. It's like this. You know, like, I'm like, damn. Hey Brian, I I had a dream run. I don't want to spoil too much there if you if you go back and watch, but um, I had a dream run, an absolute dream run, and it got absolutely shattered. <laughs> it really got shattered, and now I'm pretty shattered at the moment because I thought I was going to win that on my first go. All right, we're going to go to ride on here. Yeah, Poly, Polyflex, that's a good name, uh, Bucker Fred. That's a good one. It, it was probably one of the best runs that I've ever, ever had. I got insane luck. Like, everything was just going wonderful. Yeah, but that's how it goes, right? I never truly expected to beat it on the first go, but at that stage, I was like, wow, I might actually be able to do this, you know? Toxic was really bad in Gen 1. Alright, Rhydon has dug a hole. Neither one is conceding an inch. 
That's hilarious that you were gonna win, win on the first try. Well, I, I mean, it, it was like you have to admit it was looking very, very good, right? That 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 was like, a, like a dream sort of run there. It was looking very, very good. But then again, it's just like you know, the, the the bad luck and things like that. All right, I've got surf. Yeah, let's go for surf right on. Hey, boss, how's it going? Good morning, or good evening, wherever. Wherever you are residing. Right, right now, right on is going to faint herself here, see? I knew you were going to get Rex starting at beauty. <laughs> oh, I didn't faint it! Come on, man! Why didn't it faint it off right on special attack of like two? But Doug Trio. Doug Trio can live like. A surf from a star me on, on some kind of planet. And uh, yeah, I, I, I can't take out the wheezing with surf. Oh, it's evening. Yeah, 12, 12 hours. So yeah, it's, it's um 8, 8, 8, 8, 11 a.m. in the morning to be exact. Right on's trash special body in the rear, yeah. Well, you're going to use a... Oh, oh shit. Um... Yeah. I'll just sack off right on here. No no point playing that risky. Maybe you should start bringing Nidder King over right on for your ground type dig. Really messy with the kill. The only thing about right on is it's very, very good for tanking a lot of those... You know those normal Pokemon that use Slash and those... Um, it, it's very good for like, f like physical moves. That's why I bring them both for... Um, I, I, I absolutely, like, right on, I feel is absolutely needed. I, I, I agree with you, though, on dig, oh, like, earthquake over dig. I, I definitely agree. But, um, wait, what am I doing? Oh, I'm picking my Pokemon. Sorry. The trainer hasn't issued an order. Okay, we're going to go and finish this off and go on to our ne next battle. Unfortunately, we didn't pick up. Will it be okay? I was, I was hoping... That I would go and pick up a continue here, but it never happened, so it's unfortunate, but it's how it is. Disrespect our Swift. <clears throat> it's 8 12 at night? Hmm. Yeah, like Persian and, and, and things like that, you know. You, you, I really need a, a, a bulky defensive Pokemon that can hit hard. Oh, oh no, I forgot about this. Oh shit. Oh, I, for I completely forgot about this. Well, uh, what would you be able to do? Seismic toss, hyper beam. Oh God. Oh, I lost bugger. Oh, I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't go. I keep, I keep thinking of the poison damage. Maybe you need a thick poke hole. There, there, there really isn't any that are good. <clears throat> okay. I, I can't control if there's any ads. There's, there's normally very little ads on YouTube. Only when you come, maybe when you come to the stream for the first time. I don't play ads or anything like that. All right. Well, that's the biker done. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Liv was like just on virtually nearly like one health. <clears throat> I defeated John Cena. Du, 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 du. All right, let's go to the next battle. I was thinking about Slowbro Snorlax, but no, I'm, I'm happy with my team. I, I think this team's pretty good. Oh, yeah, this is the confusion team. All right, so Zapdos, Nido King. And ride on. Uh, yep, run right on. The counter for my team, if I bring this, is uh, is Lapras. An ad, an ad for pickles? You just seen an ad for pickles? You gotta, you gotta be joking. Okay, gonna go for a thunderbolt here. This will do Confuse Ray or Body Slam. Okay. So the Lapras mostly always goes for Body... <sighs> body Slam on the first one. 
A status in Gen 1 work after your Pokemon makes their move. Yeah, as soon as as soon as you as soon as you get hit, right? If it if it oh, this is very bad. Uh-uh. Oh Messi, I was gonna say I was like, there's no way! I was like, you I was like also I was like, you're getting ads. I hope you're not getting ads if you're a member. Like, I don't want that. Um Alright, we got uh we got Nitto King. I mean, has anyone ever seen a pickle ad on YouTube before? Like, that'd be, like, kind of funny. <clears throat> a, a weekly pickle festival? That sounds absolutely disgusting, uh, st uh, st Stylish Devil. That sounds gross. That, 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 that'd be like, I'd try to have to die and dodge, dodge those weeks, you know? Uh, what is my last Pokemon? It's right on. Man, this Lapras is probably going to wreck me. Or monthly? Damn, it's... <laughs> That doesn't sound very appetizing at all. I got a crit. Okay, that... Wow! We lived an earthquake crit! Oh, this Lapras is so thick. <sighs> Alright, I just gotta hope that... I just have to hope that Rhydon can carry me through the rest of this, but... We'll, we'll see. We'll see. That was, that was unbelievable. We are 50 away from a pickle indeed. All right, let's go for strength. There's a pickle fest here in New York from the time, time to time in the sun. Why a pick? Oh, why did I think that I was going to outspeed that for? Wow. Remember how I said it? Remember how I said Lapras is the counter to that, ma that matchup and it just swept my entire team. That's the weakness of bringing Earthquake. Uh, sorry, that's a weakness of bringing Nido King and Ride onto that battle. But it's also the best team if Lapras isn't there. Okay. This game is very. This game very much decides. This game very much decides uh, your fate based on the Pokemon that are picked. Nah, I don't need to switch it up. This team's good. This team works fine. You needed a T-Wave Lapras? Yeah, I probably should have done that. That was my bad. I got away with it last... Well, actually, no. The only reason I... The only reason I lost that because Body Slam paralyzed me. So they were lucky to get that paralyzed. Otherwise, I would have two-shotted, right? So... I, I guess I, I took a calculated risk in thinking that Body Slam wouldn't paralyze me that turn, which... It's, it's not bad. I mean, it's not always going to paralyze. All right, what are, what are we doing here? Uh, yeah, Zapdos, Nido King, and right on. Yeah, everything. There's, 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 there's not, there's no point changing this team. It's, um, it, it, it's. This is a team that works really well. Like I've. I thought about this for a long time. It's got the best synergy. It's all really, and it, it has the capacity to beat every trainer. The only thing is every, you could bring a six Pokemon of every team. You could change it around like as many times as you like. There's always going to be a, a Pokemon that counters your team. And if they bring it, you just lose. That's how it works. Um, that's what I found anyway. All right, uh, let's go for that. Uh, if you hate pickles, does that mean you hate cucumbers? Yes, I, I don't like cucumbers either. Like, obviously, I don't hate them as much as pickles because pickles taste far worse. But yeah, then they're disgusting. Um, the AI knows when you'll get power hacks for the body slam. Yeah, they're like sent sentient sort of um, sentient sort of stuff. All right, counter. Damn, counter was really bad in Gen One. For no I, I guess there's a lot of normal moves, but just that nerf to not being all, to all physical moves. Yeah. <laughs> and back to 144p. <laughs> Why is there even a 144p setting? Let's be real. Like, who is using 144p? <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, we're gonna go for a dig here and see what happens. Cute's Cat Cat super chatted $19.99. Oh, thank you. 
Hey Pimp Knight. Hey. As always, amazing content on your channel. Thank you. The salt has been real with this Master Ball Cup. <laughs> Tears of joy. <laughs> It has. It really has been salty. I, like, I'm still salty from that first time. Like, I thought I had that on my first go. I'm still, I'm still really, really salty about that. Like, really, really salty. Thank you, uh, uh, cute, uh cutest. Cute, oh, I was gonna say cutest cat. Cute, uh, cutes, cutes cat cat. Oh, that was that was confusing. I, I read that as cutest cat. Then I was like, cute, cute cutie cat. I was like, a cutes cat cat. Wow, that was a uh, that was a complete mess up. I'm sorry about that. Thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate that. I guess I was so salty I, I couldn't even you know uh, comprehend the English language there. All right, we're gonna go for a dig against Alakazam. Okay. Oh, but that was very salty. It was like a, it was almost like a a low key tongue twister, you know. Okay, we're going to see if we can take Alakazam out in one, uh, one hit. Wait. Oh, did it already... Did it already do damage to that? Correct me if I'm wrong, but did that Alakazam not get one-shotted by Dig earlier on? Sorry, I was a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, distracted there, trying to understand the English language. Um, all right, well, anyway, Alakazam's done. So that's going to faint. A tongue twister. That's it. I am terrible with tongue twister. See, that should not have lived to dig. These uh, these have got very, very... Uh, these have got, like, huge... Huge boost. I, 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 I want to say, without looking, like, at data mines and stuff, I want to say they probably have double your DVs and EVs for that to be possible. Now, I, I don't know what, like, the, on the data mine of the, the Pokemon Stadium stuff, but I want to say they have to be close to double. Or, or double. Yeah. I don't think it's max defense. I just think they've got double your DVs and EVs, or even more. Yeah, it has, to, but it's got to have a lot of health and defense to live that. Because yeah, like, Kadabra just lived a dig from a ride on what? That is cry. Like these are definitely double. These have to be double. I've, I don't think I've ever seen a Kadabra live a ground type in, in Gen One. Let's be real. Uh, he just used poison gas on me. He just, 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 yeah, just laid a fart on me. Ooh. That Kadabra living, it's even, like, is that, that's even worse. I did use Kadabra for some time on my earlier plays, but I found out it was just... He couldn't, he, unless I didn't one-shot stuff, it was virtually just a, 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 like a waste. It was nearly, like, all they needed was the Abra there. They could have had Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam. <clears throat> the grandfather, if you're bulky Abra from Sword and Shield. From Sword and Shield. Hmm. They must have a lot of stat experience. Fun thing about Gen 1 and 2 is you can max all the stats. Yes, you can. It's like, um... Oh, what was it against? Like, there's so many, there's so many, they take so many, like, EVs to max every stat, you know? Apparently, there's, like, a cool way you can put, to get, around, to get all the max stats, say, like, you know, for those, like, cups that have, like, level 30 and under and things like that, what you can do to get the experience, you put it into the daycare to reset the experience, but you still, obviously, you still keep the EVs, and then you just keep putting it in there, and that's how you max a Pokemon out that's low level uh, completely. That's how go, you go about doing that in, uh, in Gen 1. Because it resets that uh, experience. All right. What am, I, what am I doing here? Sorry, I'm getting myself very, very sidetracked. So, Machen was the first Pokemon last time. And then it was the Flareon. All right. I really messed myself over last time by not bringing the right Pokemon here. So... Right on. Starmie. Jolteon. 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 <clears throat> Okay, so normally it's Flare Out. Oh, it's Nero King this time. Damn. Then again, what can Nero King really do to me? 
What could Nidoking actually do? Unless it's got Blizzard. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nidoking is a really great counter to this team. Ah. Uh-oh. This is very bad. This is very, very bad. I'm going to go for a Flash or Rock Slide. I think it's going to have Blizzard, though. Toxic. Okay. I think that Rhydon is going to need to beat Nidoking. It's not often we get a Nido King lead here. Of course it's going to fail. Flash sucks in this gen. Well, I'm going to go for Sky Attack. I I've absolutely have nothing nothing here, really. Here's the Blizzard. Yep, I thought so. I was hoping I could drop the accuracy a little bit to make it miss. He'll start a Toxic if you're not Poison. Okay, now I know, now I know that for next time because this is the very first time that I've versed Nido King at the start. Uh, but yeah, actually, in, in fact, this is the very first time it's actually brought it along. What other moves have you got? So you've only got Blizzard? Hmm. So Toxic, Blizzard, Assuming, Earthquake. Poison Sting, maybe? Hmm. Okay. This is bad. Jolteon's got Pin Missile, but that's not going to do enough. Was not expecting Nido King to be fun. Nido King's got pretty good speed, but yeah, I I expected it. I guess the level as well. When you look at three levels high, so yeah, this seems to be an ex excellent counter when I bring Zapdos right on and Jolteon. Have to remember that. Uh, unless right on dodges the Blizzard. What's the matter, trainer? Hmm. All right. I think this one's a loss. Because oh, Nidoking's right got pretty good... Like, Nidoking's a very, very good all-round Pokemon. You know, it's got good speed, good attack, good special, reasonable bulk. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think that I'm going to have Blizzard miss. Actually, Blizzard was, a, like, a really, really powerful move in Gen 1. Like, the base power... Um... Like, damn, that's like for 90% on Blizzard is, is is really, really good. How's the luck today? It was amazing until something happened. Now, ever, ever since that moment, my luck is just, it's just, it's gone. I had like a, I had like a real, I had like a real purple patch of luck and then, boop, gone. All right, here we go, Jolteon. Five hits in a row. <laughs> that did nothing. I need five hits and I need a crit to maybe do three quarters health to that. And it can, it out, in turn, one shot me with Earthquake. All right, well, Nidoking King is an excellent counter for when I bring those three Pokemon. Now I know it's, now I know it's going to go probably toxic the first turn, so. I wonder if we use toxic, though, if you had Jolteon. I doubt it. It would probably just straight up attack you. Yeah, so 90% Blizzard is crazy. And, and for its base power as well. <clears throat> okay. Um, Nido King. Damn, Nido King was a good counter to me. Actually, I'm going to try Starmie. Actually, I'm looking at my team. I'm thinking Starmie's not a bad lead here. So Starmie, Zapdos. Actually, no. Zapdos is probably... Yeah, Z Starmie, Zapdos. And Rhydon. So I need that Rhydon for Kangaskhan. Because Kangaskhan, I don't think, can do that much to it. Yes, we are on round two, Bosman. So that happens a lot, sadly. All right, here we go. Let's go surf. Hmm. So surf should be a two to three hit KO. Ooh, okay. That's a little bit more. Seems like the lead Pokemon likes to use Toxic as well. Does Kanga have surf? Uh, I have not seen it use surf before. I've seen it use... Body Slam, Earthquake, Toxic, 
That's about it. Wait, did I get outsped there? Oh, quick attack. Okay. I look like a Starmie? How do I resemble a Starmie? What will the next Pokemon be? It has Ice Beam. Yeah, I thought it had Blizzard or Ice Beam. I didn't, I didn't want to say because I was 100% sure. All right. So Starmie's working out pretty good here. Uh, let's go ahead and go for Thunder. This battle is still up in the air. What's that? Nice damage. Okay, that's a two hit KO on Polyrath. Yeah, I'm, I might leave a Starmie from now on because that seems to be pretty good. Psychic, that's a weird. Then again, Polyrath has nothing. What's it got like Hydro Pump, Toxic, Psychic? Maybe, I doubt it would. Uh, it probably would have used Seismic Toss if it had it. No, it's got, I think it's got Blizzard or Ice Beam, yeah. Now they swapped it out? Because <laughs> I'm a star? But I'm shh. Okay, here's Kangaskhan. Now, nah, Stami got me got me some really good wins earlier on in this uh, in round two, like in great. I think he got me some really good ones in Great Ball. Right. Um, we know that's got Ice Beam. I think Kangaskhan actually outspeeds me here. No, no, it doesn't. Good. Yeah, even with even even with just surfing, it's just it's so tanky. Yeah, Kangaskhan. Let me let me put it this way: Kangaskhan is like a speedy Snorlax. It's not as bulky, um, but it's still you know it's fast, but not as bulky. It's it's more like a, a speedy Snorlax. It's got that good bulk, you know. Let's go into Zapdos. Dizzy Punch. Hmm. Let's go Thunderbolt. No, oh, that isn't that isn't really really good damage. Yeah, the DVs definitely do. This is what's like the max DV is like uh, eight, I believe. Eight DVs for a stat. I think my extreme lag at some point because I refreshed and somehow ride on is alive again. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm not sure when you did that. Yeah, I, th I think it's, I I'm pretty sure that it's eight. Because I, I want to I wanna go out on a limb and say, I reckon Master Ball, I reckon they've got max DVs. In that, I reckon those they've got to have a maybe not in these early ones, but that those late ones, I reckon they'll have them in there or seven or eight, something like that. Okay, so next one. This is the confusion one. That Lapras destroyed me last time. This time I'm going to go with Jolteon. Okay. This is the only reason I'm bringing that is because of that Lapras. Ah, oh, here we go again. I knew it. I knew it. All right, you're going to get Thunder Wave first turn. How did I beat this game as a kid? This game is a lot more brutal. Than I... You probably you wouldn't have beat it as a kid with uh, on round two of rentals. You're probably thinking round one or you transferred your Pokemon over. That's probably how you beat it as a kid, right? That's how most people probably beat it. And again, like, no no kid is gonna uh, is going to beat this on round two with rentals. They probably didn't even try. They probably use their own team. Well, it's hopefully not going to be a Lapras sweep this time. Hmm. Yeah, that's killed me. Damn. 
Well, if you beat round two, you, you probably... I mean, round two would be pot, would be definitely, like... If I'm almost beating round two with rentals, like, you're definitely going to be able to beat it with your own Pokemon that you bring over, you know, with better DVs and stuff like that. Like, that that wouldn't be... I'd say it wouldn't be too hard. It'd be pretty... It'd take, it'd take... It'd be hard, but I think it'd still take all the challenge away. Yeah. All right, Night Tiles. Well, I can I can pop two Thunderbolts on that now. I remember getting stomped in round two as a kid, even my transfer. Yeah, I mean that doesn't surprise me. It's still very very good, right? All right, we're gonna go for Thunderbolt again. Good damage. I think they all have body slam and conf oh, I got paralyzed. No. No. Right, go Thunderbolt again. I dig nine tails. Hey, thank you, Joel Jeffrey. I appreciate that. Thank you for your very first super chat here. I think um I think it's a yeah, that was a super. You can actually put a little message in there too, just just so you know, um, as well. Thank you, Joel Jeffrey. <laughs> Shout outs. Hope everyone's been enjoying the stream so far. Even though we haven't won, we've had some. It's been we've had some very very good moments here. Ooh. Nido King should be able to take that dig. I mean, Night Tower's attack isn't good, but. Hmm. I think I, I, I I'm I'm scared of a critical hit dig now. But can Nido King beat the last Pokemon? I think it can. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna rest all the burden on Nido King's shoulders. Here we go. <laughs> okay. All right, that's the end of Jolteon. The stream is making me want to check my cartridge see if I beat it. I may delete my file and replay the game. Yeah, yeah have a go uh, for sure, uh, uh, Roy. Have a go. I, it, it probably would be interesting to see how you beat it, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to say most people, if not all, would have beaten round two with transferred Pokemon, especially when you're a kid, right? I mean, there wouldn't be much... Why wouldn't you bring your Pokemon across? You know, there was like with for the Switch version, you can't do that. So that would that makes more sense, right? Okay, Nine Tiles is going to use Confuse Ray, of course, and I'm going to go for an Earthquake. So that's the end of Nine Tiles. But Nine Tiles wasn't the problem there. It's the whatever the next Pokemon's going to be, mate. If it's wheezing, we're good. We're good. Yeah, at least there's no minimized chance. You're right. Oh, Haunter. That might have Psychic. Like, who runs Dig on it? Yo, that... That Alakazam with Dig, that, that literally broke me. Did I beat Master Ball? We're playing it right now, uh, Victor. Oh, I would have won. Yes, these are rental Pokemon. I'm going the hard route. Rental Pokemon, no safe states, nothing. I almost beat it on my very, very first try. I got very close. Lapras is the last Pokemon. Wait, wait. Did you not kill Lapras already? Horn was the last Pokemon. Oh, let me have a look anyway. I should be able, should be able to see. Oh, no, they're Lapras. Yeah, I don't think I would have been Lapras with Earthquake because Lapras, Lapras would have needed a crit to take out. All right. Damn. I already know my team can beat that. It's just like that Lapras. Look, I could leave it. The, the best way to get rid of that Lapras is to leave a Jolteon, but if Lapras is in the lead, then it's not very good. Master Ball is very... Oh, it is, yeah. It is. I'm, I am well aware of that. <laughs> Just about to play Petite Cup. Master Ball takes forever. Yes. Especially if you're using... Well, if you're using rentals, for sure. Transfer Pokemon, then... 
Not so much. But if you're playing on the Switch, well, you got no choice, right? You already know that as soon as you live with Jolteon, Lapras won't even be on the set. I know, because that's what happens. That, that's that's what that's what happened in that the battle where I had three continues. I'm like, I just need this correct sort of uh, team, and then I'm good. They're staring each other down. Mm. Let's go right up. I still wonder if there's some his secret little thing in there, right, for the RNG. Like, can the AI see what move you're going to pick or... I don't, I don't know. I beat Master Ball first run with three perfects. Uh, the drag art one is harder than Ultra Ball. You'll be mad when you see what... Oh, I got up to the drag. I got up to that battle already. I, I beat that battle. Uh, I perfected that battle the, against the old man. If that's the one you're talking about. I had Snorlax and... Snorlax is actually worse than Dragonite. That's a pain. I, I prefer Dragonite because at least you've got Articuno then to beat it. Starmie might be good for Lapras. That's what I thought too, but then it, it body slam crit, critted me. I was about to beat Master Ball on the first run, too. I'm <laughs> still salty about that. All right, next is Kadabra. I'm just going to quickly quickly beat this uh, this juggler. Yes, Kadabra, we know you can fly in the sky. And that la uh, the last one's going to be the hard one, the psychic one, though. That's always quite hard. There it is, Counter-Strike. Oops, that's a miss. Neither one is conceding an inch. Kinesis. There it is, Kinesis. Oh, look, another spoon. The move failed to click. Ah! Yeah, I'm, so, I'm saltier than the Dead Sea right now, yes. The Has anyone been in, like, uh, an ocean before or, like, water where you just float because there's so much salt in the water? The only time I've ever been in what, something like that is like, there's like this pod thing and you, they're like a relaxation thing. Well, they're meant to be a relaxation thing and you lay in it and it's water and you float because you, yeah. It was, it was really strange because it, it's actually quite hard to get comfortable. It was like, I, 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 don't, I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to explain, but um, it's, it was very hard to get, it's very, very hard to get, like say if you're laying in the water and you're floating, you're like, you'll be your, there's a lot of salt in the water. It's very, very, extremely hard to get comfortable. It's like you need a pillow. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we're going to go dig. Thank you, Lex. I have 100 in special, def uh, 110 in special defense, just 65 special. Yeah, it's just a tanky thing. Wait, hang on though. Does the Snorlax have amnesia? That's what I want to know, because if it does... Uh, it don't really matter what its special stat's going to be. It should be able to take a couple of hits and then... I hope that it doesn't have something broken like Amnesia, though. That would be bad. <laughs> it's an incredible feeling. I experienced that floating in a, a river. Okay. Where, whereabouts is that unicorn? Sensory deprivation. Oh, they just call them float pods here. It gets amnesia. I use amnesia. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, I bet you we won't get Snorlax with amnesia, though. I think it's got, like, metronome rest. Metronome rest. Hyper beam. Yeah, I got the extra continue, Yes. I indeed. Uh, that was a juggler one, right? I can I can pretty much always get the continue on the juggler. That's that's fairly easy. Okay, this is the uh, Zapdos. Starmie. What? I only picked two Pokemon. Zapdos, Starmie. And right on. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round. 
Yeah, the old man's is really, really that 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 is a. I don't, I I I I basically I, I won that thing because I, I got lucky with the free sacks. All right, Polyraph is the lead. Uh, the Caribbean Sea, cool. Can't say I've ever been there. Yes, that was Derek. He did drop that uh, gifted sub a little while ago. Okay. Thunderbolt. I'm probably going to be going for about 50 minutes to an hour more people as well. And then I have to go... Uh, have to get going but it has it has been uh, it's been very salty but it has it's, it's been fun see if i can continue see if i can uh maybe beat this mm. unfortunately electro dies too easy that's my only issue with it and i can't really do much apart from just self-destruct so i did i i did try it i think i just think jolteon's much better Damn. That wheezing though. Oh, also tomorrow I'm going to be doing a um. Whoa, that creamy bit of sludge. I'm going to be doing a Intellion raid too, so that should be a Scarlet Vise a Intellion raid that's coming out. It's ten fifteen for you. You must be like Melbourne or Sydney or something like that. That's about two hours in front of WA. Two crits on sludge in a row. Oh, Who are you bringing for Inteleon? Uh, I got a couple of ideas like, you know, water, water Tauros, Anger Point. I've got Anger Point Crab Ominal. And I got a couple of other ones uh, as well that probably aren't quite as good, but I got like Gasheron for support. That's not bad either. But probably those two I, I'm going I'm to use. <clears throat> Something like that. We're going to use Surf and get rid of this. I want some of that luck I got in the first round though. Damn, that was good luck. I don't think I've ever been that lucky so far in this game. For like a long period of time, you know? Okay, who's next? Joe Jeffrey super chatted ten dollars. Thank you. Put backup packs from the first round. You know you want to. I know I want to. I gotta, I gotta press that L and R button for hacks and get it back. I gotta somehow figure out how to do that. Thank you, Joel Jeffrey, for the uh, ten dollars super chat. <laughs> whistle, whistle. They're staring each other down. What are we going to do? All oh, right. Okay. Right on. Yeah. I'm going to go surf. I'm going to sacrifice Wingo. Imagine bringing Wingo to Inteleon. Oh, I got a crit. Yay. There you go, Joel Jeffrey. You bought the luck. You gave me the luck. Thank you. I appreciate that luck. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Awesome. It's nice when it's, it's nice when you get a crit. You, you go first and you get a crit. That's always so like so nice. Oh, the ba I got a baby falls out of the pouch. That's so mean. All right, that's the end of that one. That's good. Okay, we got to get up to the, the the real hardest ones though. That that's where I want to see if I can get back up to. We're gonna get past this third third trainer again. Okay. Yeah, the baby just like fell out of the pouch. It's like, damn. Yeah, pretty much just luck. All about luck. Yep. I don't even know how I lost this one last time. Normally, I, I've got it. Oh, it's this, it's this stupid Lapras. So. Yeah. So Zapdos. Zapdos, Starmie, Jolteon. I 
think so, Snapdos. Then again, Starmie's not... Yeah, Starmie's not... I'm going to go Zapdos, Jolteon, Nido King, maybe. Or Rhydon. Rhydon. Hmm. No, I'm going to go Starmie. Let's do that. Nidoking King not so good for this because of sight. Yeah, that's the problem. I did actually I did actually beat this pretty easy with Nidoking King last time. But it, just just lately this this Lapras has just been a real pain in, in, in the ass. All the time. And they both I know both of them do use psychic. Uh yeah. Okay, good. So it's fine when Lapras doesn't paralyze you of body slam on the first on the first turn. When it does, that's that's really annoying. Because then what it does then it, bo it body slams you. You get paralyzed. I don't know if that one actually mattered. I think I was going to. And then you get paralyzed, and then it kills you a blizzard, and then it's it's very hard from there. But now now it's gone. That's going to be a lot easier. Go back. Thunder Wave. I always Thunder Wave Golbat straight away. This Thunder Wave definitely needs to be abused throughout this whole thing. Okay. Body slam over. Well, that's how the, that's how the uh, the Lapras the Lapras beats beats the Zap Zapdos. It goes for body slam, gets the paralyzed. You get paralyzed, and then it goes for Blizzard. That that's it does that all the time. Uh, the last uh, I think the last two or three runs it did that to me. Yeah, Golbat's just more and Golbat's just more annoying. It doesn't really do much damage. It's just like a, that annoying Pokemon. All right, now I'm confused. Double edge or something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna swap out Zapdos because I'm confused and I'll probably hit myself for confusion. I might. I, I want to conserve this to see if I can get a continue too. Because as you know, you need a lot of continues. Ooh, they swapped. All right, now we got the nine tiles. That's good. That worked out well. Okay, I think I might go into ride on after this. Then again, oh, you're lucky. Now toxic, I'm assuming. Uh, no point swapping. I might as well get some damage to surf. Oh yeah, they've all got body slam and toxic and annoying, annoying stuff like that. Cool, I'm no longer Kui. So, uh, they'll use Confuse Ray this turn, so they won't be using Body Slam. So, if I can, all I gotta do is be able to attack this turn, and Nine Tails is gone. And then it'll just you know, continue to go Body Slam. Yeah, it sort of looks like it, it does. It looks like it's wrapped a, a cape around it, like Superman or whatever. Ah, uh, and I hit myself for Confusion again. And then that happens. Unbelievable. Okay. Well, there goes our free continue. I possibly could have gone to Jolteon, but yeah, I, I don't know. And then it would have critted my Jolteon. Rip the continue. All right, we're going to go Thunderbolt. Yeah, it's like Golbat with a blanket wrapped around it, pretty much. Oh, that is so tanky. I didn't really want to swap Jolt. See, see, look. Imagine if I swapped Jolteon into that body slam, and then I like that probably would have nearly killed me. Yeah. It would have actually. Oh my god. The commands are issued. Here's a Pokemon chain. Okay. Oh, 
Yep, there is a, there is a chance, Roy, that I can miss. It's like a one in... Yeah, I think it's a one in 250, 250, Actually, no, I think it's a little bit, I think it's a little bit different on stay. I think it's even worse from what I can remember. Okay, what are you going to do? Confuse Ray? Yep. Come on, Zapdos. Please just land one attack. That's all I need, one attack. I can't be hit by Dig, so they're going to have to go for Body Slam. Now you're doing flamethrower. I was almost going to swap there, but I was like, mm, just in case you do that. And it did it. Yep. That was the right thing to do there, not to swap. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. They go into battle poses. I got, I rolled that on uh, explosion before uh, Roy Matthew. I went for explosion and it missed. I was like, there's no way that missed. And that's when I learned that it actually has a chance of missing. I was incredibly salty. Well, I think we may have lost this one because... Wait, the Golbat's... The Golbat's still here? Maybe, but we have to live the dig, which I doubt I'm, you know, able to live. Oh, I got paralyzed anyway. Well, that's the end of my Jolteon. I had no chance of living that anyway. Oh. This has been rough. This stupid medium. <laughs> well, what's the chance of Lapras is going to be the first Pokemon? You know what? I'm going to go with Jolteon as a starting Pokemon. I'm, I'm sick of this. Well, let's, let's fight this thing. All right, Jolteon. Zapdos. Articuno isn't all that bad, but pr probably bad for like the other two. So we'll just... Okay. Stop. That was, I just tuned in. That was a rough five minutes. You should have seen what happened earlier on. That that made that look good. But uh, uh, welcome, uh, welcome, welcome. Okay, we got Lapras as elite. Who would have thought? Here comes the Thunderbolt. Come on, Jolteon. Well, Jolteon's like as big as Lapras's toe. So that did around as much as Zapdos does. All right, here comes the Body Slam. What will the trainer do now? A decent hit. All right, that's a good start. But remember, last time I got this start as well. I, oh, they're swapping. Who would they be going into? Nine tails. Oh, look who it is! It's Nine Tails who dig. Now you're gonna go confused, right? Obviously. I'm gonna go Thunderbolt and then swap into Zapdos when it goes dig. Cause it always it oh he did it did dig the first time okay he doesn't commonly do that cool all right well I, I guess I could go under Starmie Starmie went out speed though Zapdos I'll go into Zapdos that way I don't take any damage I guess no damage is better than better than uh, taking some damage even if it's like let's be real probably a crit if it landed. Nightals look like it has sausage tails in stadium. Yeah, it look, they look they look a bit chunky. <laughs> the medium is my low key nemesis. Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and go Thunder Wave. I just got a bad feeling about this thing. Just in case I get very unlucky with Confuse Rays, which happened last time. All right, let's go Thunder Wave. The are Here comes a, flame, a flamethrower or body slam. 
What will it do? Yeah, it's a hit! Oh, come on! Oh, it's confused. <sighs> Fireworks are flying in this battle. At right, this stage, I'm just going to go for a Thunderbolt. I'm going to attack it and then bring Jolty on and finish it off. What now? A decent hit! It Finally! I like how I don't get confused on the turn I don't go for Thunder Wave. Okay, uh, maybe we'll swap to Jolteon and then go for Surf. Uh, hello, Snuffin. G'day, mate. Because we know that Jolteon outspeeds. And now we can live a body slam. Oh, they went for Flamethrower. That's even better. Cool. That's actually better. Okay, they got a burn hacks too. You don't get to see that too. Now they're gonna swap. Now they know their nine tiles are gonna faint. They're gonna swap, and then they're gonna go to magma. All right, I need to keep my jolty on. I need to keep my jolty on alive for that nine tiles. Yes, I got a paralyze. Good. That's a nice start. Um, yeah. So Starmie's perfect. I want this, I really, if you haven't noticed, I really, really want this uh, continue. Uh, hello, how do I say your username? Uh, pre 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 precise, hello, uh, from Canada, cool. I'd like to go to Canada one day. Hello from Australia. They're trying to get a continue, says Brian. <laughs> yeah, they're, go they're going for that continue. They're, yeah, they're playing, the, they're, they're playing their own sort of, uh, their own sort of little uh, cup here. Uh, Golbat? Oh, oh, the Lapras. The Lapras. Oh, come on! Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? The combatants face each other. It's still confused! Okay, well, I'm having a very, very, very bad run of luck so far. We love Australians here. That, that, that's, 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 that's good. That's awesome. At this stage, I'm just going to keep going for Thunder. This is really bad confusion luck. It really is. Oh, come on. That's, that's, that's five. I think that's four or five hits so far. Oh. Lived on one health. Okay. Finally, a slither of luck. Not that it matters, though, if I hit myself in confusion. No, no, no longer confused. Good. <sighs> Come on, man. That, 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 that is just, that's, that's just not fair. That's not fair. All right. I've got Jolteon left for that nine tails. So let's go on to Zapdos. The AI can sense desperation. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm very, very de de desperate at the moment to beat this. Are we going to go for uh, at least then I'm very, very dead then? No, well, we'll see. I think I've got this now. No cap. Oh, finally. This is why you just gotta go Electabuzz Thunder Punch. Electabuzz Thunder Punch is weak though. Okay, our next is Ninetales. Jolteon and Zapdos outclass Electabuzz. Uh, otherwise I'd be using it. Okay, Flamethrower. Okay, now we just swap Jolzy on it and win. Wait, does this have quick attack? Round two is not decided by the power. Oh, it is. It's power and RNG. It's, you need a combo of both, right? I played with enough round two to know that. No, it doesn't have quick attack. I was thinking of another one. Do they still have magma? Yeah, that doesn't have a lot of health though, right? 
I believe I landed an attacking move on that. The CP just wanted to block the continue. They need more than block the continue. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to need a crit here. A crit and then a paralyze. What's that? That's just, that is just mean going for Confuse Ray. Instead of attacking, going for Confuse Ray. At least that's going to allow me to maybe faint the magma. I think we all know what's going to happen here, right? Wow, what, wow, what a surprise. I never knew that was going to happen. I never, ever knew that one was going to happen. This train is a freaking troll. <sighs> oh my god. I've lost this trainer like, like the last three times. No, one second. One second, people. Sorry, people. I had a phone call then. All right. Um, yeah. Let me let me let me get this free continue. <laughs> I'm joking. I just had to quickly, you know, call Kath for help there. No, I'm joking. The medium is calling to trash talk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue that medium. Like I, I think they're salty because I got a free continue on them last time. All right. It's the old man calling me. Yeah, the old man is like, he's calling me back. He's not very happy. You saw it's got frozen. Okay. I'm gonna go for a little bit longer, people. Like, let's look at like 20, probably like, probably 30 more minutes, people, and that'll be uh, that'll be it for today. Unless I'm on my way to winning, um, I'll just, yeah. Unless I'm looking like I'm going to keep going, um, I'll, I'll go till I lose. How's that? Yes, the Alakazam has counter. It's very, very mean. Yes, the old man was trying to offer advice. It was like, use uh, Snorlax with amnesia. And, um... If only I had it. You can always save and come back. Yeah, I see how I'm going. I'm... Oh, no! Oh! It got... It. Oh, shit! Oh, dang, the, the Zapdos. It's two Zapdos. Wow, the metronome person is now going to actually be able to choose moves for the first time ever. The transform has worked with two Zapdos on the field. I think my Thunderbolt still fanked it, but damn. <laughs> That's everybody. What? Wait, okay. Wait, how did, how did that outspeed me? Hang on. How the hell did that outspeed me? Freaking troll, man. What the hell? That was Ben's mom and dad on the other end. They were telling him to stop being bad at video games and get a real job. <laughs> underscore pimp pie. Fuck off. Ah! Oh, thank you for the five dollar super chat, Will Jax. <laughs> there was not my mum and dad. Actually, it was my dad on the phone. That was a good guess. Okay, so we've got we've got this Electa bus. How did that outspeed though? I guess the level difference, but I paralyzed it. 
Yeah, it was... Wait, it was... How, like, can anyone explain that real talk? Because I know they were one level high, I realize that, but it was paralyzed. It should have never outsped me, correct? Yeah. How did that outspeed me? Is there some, like, hidden mechanic there I, 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 I'm not aware of? Because that shouldn't have worked. Maybe... Maybe there's like a, it, it, it resets it or something like that. Transform copies. Yeah, yeah, I know that, but it was paralyzed. Does that mean it, it ignores the paralysis? Even though it was paralyzed? It, 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 it must. That's the only thing I can think of. Well, that's like a super... Isn't that like a super rare little thing to see? It's pretty cool, right? All right, got to. Oops, I think I ran into the wrong Pokemon. Yeah, the transform over. Yeah. Okay, that, that's the that's the only explanation. Well, I'm not sure if anyone's ever seen that happen before, but there you go. That was really cool. That's the first time I've seen that happen in uh, in Stadium. Cool. That's like really a really really unique thing. Like to roll to roll the metronome transform and then you know for it to be paralyzed at the same time. Only on Pimbo Channel, like you don't see this stuff anywhere else. All right, I'm gonna go for a surf. This really wasn't the Pokemon I wanted to swap in. What the metronome bound. <laughs> oh my god. All right, two more, two two more surfs. Two more surfs. Don't you get an electric move? It dug a hole. It dug a hole. All right. That's it. Dug a hole. I thought I bought Rhydon instead of Nido King. I'm not sure why I brought Nido King for that. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. We're going to Zapdos. Because I was paralyzed uh, on Dragonite. It was level 55. I transformed with my Ditto and went first. Ah. Yeah, I was thinking about bringing Ditto along, but it's more of a troll pick and very situational. So I, I didn't bring it along. Because obviously it's not very good because you've got to go first. Now I'm going to keep going for Thunderbolt here. Yeah, the... Uh... Oh, Spy Cat. That's a movie you don't get to see very often. That looks pretty cool. Oh, part, oh, part one. I really want to pitch Magic out to beat Ditto. A lot of things happen in his videos, but that was one time. <laughs> it could have happened. There was, there, was a, there, was a high, there was always a high chance of random things to happen. You know, Mewtwo's being, getting beaten by Caterpies and things like that. What now? Well, this battle definitely isn't pretty, I can tell you that. There's a big difference in HP. I have to go pick up uh, Catherine about 20 minutes too. So go, is that Sing? I'm oh, paralyzed, okay. The move to glitch. I have to go put pizza in the oven. I hope I don't miss anything. Well, I don't think you'll miss too much unless it's like some sort of crazy metronome again. Did it help me a lot? Uh, especially the three psychic gym. It's annoying ditto s situational and also jinx. What's funny is ditto keeps the stats but you only get five people. Yeah, it keeps the it keeps the stats that you, you, you have your original health and you get five PP. I mean, you'd have to transform into a really, really good Pokemon to make it worth it though. <clears throat> No, that's use counter. I was like, how did I outspeed? But she's counter. Yeah. Wait. Oh, he's, he, okay, yeah. Okay. Wait a second. Did my attack miss? Man, imagine getting, imagine getting scratched by Kadabra. That would actually hurt. It's got like massive claws. It really does. Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not really I'm not really enjoying being paralyzed, so I'm going to swap out. I don't know if it, ha if it gets Metronome, then self-destruct. Does it fail? Because you're not allowed to, like, go explosion or self-destruct on your last Pokemon? I'm assuming that it'll just straight up fail. Hello, Elisa. It's, uh... How's the easy breezy cup going? Oh, it's, it's uh... It's been very, very fun. It's been hack salt field the whole time. No! Oh! Oh! oh and that if that le that would have worked too, because that was a faster Pokemon. Oh! 
I'm glad that didn't land because that's happened to me before and it landed and I was so salty. All right, we're going to swap into another Pokemon. This is getting... Actually, no, I'm just going to go for a uh, Surf again. I can feel positive energy through the screen. I'm so... This just rolled horn drill, then pedal dance. Am I really not gonna gonna continue? I have to swap because I need my desperation continue. All right, I have to swap out here. All right, De uh, into Nitter King. We don't want to desperate. We want that desperation continue. I need that continue. Watch it pop out like a psychic now. Of course, after the thrashes, of course. Oh, sorry, the, uh, the the pedal dancers. Damn, that's still that's still doing all right damage considering. I guess it's a, it's a, the special attack still sort of makes up for it. All right, earthquake. After it's finished its pedal dance barrage, it's going to uh, it's going to pull out a psychic. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, oh, come on, come on! This Karabra is busted. All right, well, I'm, I'm, I'm literally dead. Starmie's dead, so I have to go into Zapdos. So Horn Drill, then two, uh, sorry, uh, three pedal dancers or something like that. <laughs> oh, no. They don't normally lose to this, but uh, they've had some really good moves. Oh, double kick. I'm actually getting hit with those size 13s. Oh, it hit itself. Okay, that's, that's all good. Okay, I think now we've got it. All right, Kadabra's down. Good. What's Kadabra like a fox? It is a fox, right? Well, that was that was not pretty at all. That was that was not a pretty battle. But we got there in the end. We also didn't get a continue either. Matter of fact, probably in the future I should restart if I don't get a continue there. I think that'd be a better strategy. We'll keep going because I don't have too much uh, time left on stream, so we'll keep going. All right, let's go ahead and start with... Yep. Yeah, uh, Zapdos. Right, you're gonna need one or two continues. I had three continues and I still lost. I had three continues and I still lost at the end. All right, our first Pokemon here is Kangaskhan. Let's give that a nice Thunder Wave in the face. So a body slam crit right at the start of the battle. And now I only just got a paralyze on there. <laughs> I need three continues just for the medium. It's funny because I continued the medium in the very first one. Like I, it was, it was easy. Like the medium was like just, yeah, you, you were, you were like nothing. You know, we just beat you easy, and then ever since then I've just completely struggled against it. Or oh, Kangaskhan went down. That was pretty nice. Yeah, he sort of knows what you're thinking. Hmm, right? we haven't had Nido King very often. I think this is only the second second or third time. Hello, Subject 69. How you doing? Um, well, we've got an option here to swap, or we just... I think I'm just going to leave it in. There's, uh, there's not really much I can... But then again, there's not a lot I can do. I'll go for a flash, I guess. It's just going to spam Blizzard. I don't think it'll use Blizzard, though. I did. Okay. I don't think it's got anything else to hit Zapdos there. It must not have any other moves to hit it than Blizzard. <laughs> good night, Derek. Have a, have a good sleep. Um, oh, right on. Are we still playing? Yes, we're still going. We are still going. I think I might lose to this Nidoking, actually, because we know that it's got Blizzard. 
Unless Rhydon can pull out a, uh, a miraculous miz blizzard, mizzard, uh, miraculous blizzard miss, and then KO with Dig. But we all know that Nido King's going to live on one health anyway, so yeah. That's the end of Rhydon. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Now we don't have a continue. Oh, it's Jolteon. The AI is a stream sniper. <laughs> it's a stream sniper. Yes, it is. All right, here we go. Sand attack. Sand, I'm just going to sand attack every single time. Ready? We're going to win with sand attack. There we go. Let's kick some dirt. There we go. Look. Oh, right in the face. Oh. Nidikin can't see. I mean, uh, Earthquake's going to miss. It worked. Jolteon can't... Jolteon's good. Uh, sand attack. Right, Nidder King's face. Here we, we're we're going to win with sand attack. I'm telling you. It's definitely going to happen. Live on one health. Well, that's, that is the end of Jolteon. What's the time? Uh, I don't know if I want to start another one. Um, that's gonna, I, I think that's pretty much going to be it, people, for today's stream because uh, we've been nearly been going for... Well, we've been going for three hours, and I, I've been thoroughly spanked for three hours straight. So um, next stadium stream, we'll give it another try uh, for sure. Uh, we'll give Master Ball another try. I, I'm just going to have to roll the r r correct RNG. There's nothing wrong with the team at all. It's good. It's solid. We almost won the first one. But uh, first thing I want to say, thank you to all the viewers for coming along. I hope you had fun. Um, it, I was just... Just bad luck, you know. Um, it, it is what it is. Oh, the next stadium stream, we'll look at... Uh, what's the day today? Uh, Friday. We might look at Sunday for a stadium stream. So around there, Sunday for stadium stream. Uh, I'll be back and we'll see if, if we can win this. So thank you to all the viewers. Thank you to everyone that did drop a super chat. Uh, again, any any uh, memberships or route the membership. Appreciate that. Uh, Shouts to our highest contributors for today. So uh, Derek as our highest gifted uh, member today with 10 gifts. And our highest super chatter for today was... Uh, I'm just kidding. Joel Jeffrey with uh, and, and and cute cute cat cat too. So Joel and cute cat, thank you for the high super chats for today. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will be back for sure. Um, I'm 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 down, but I'm not, I'm not out. All right, I'm going to give this one a go uh, tonight. I will have a video up tonight too, and in the morning I'll be doing a raid stream for Inteleon. So uh, should be pretty fun to see how, you know what we've got for Inteleon and things like that. See you later, people. Hope you had fun. I certainly did. It was fun, but it was it was salty and it was, it was it was very hard. All right. See you later, people. Have a good time, day or night, wherever you are living. Peace out.